Okay, Fabrizio Romano has reported that Venezia, a club in Serie B, has just reached an agreement with Andrea Pirlo to become their new manager on a one-year contract. So Pirlo had a short spell at Juventus as a manager. He then went to coach in the Turkish League, but now he has a second chance in Italy. And Venezia, fresh off relegation last season from Serie A, are looking to become the next big club in Europe. And they believe Pirlo is the man to get them there. So that is right, we're starting a new Road to Glory career mode. Venezia and Serie B, so like probably the best kits in world football. And uh, located in Venice, this team is like screaming out to be like a sleeping giant, but they need a little bit of help. They're going to get it from Pirlo. And also, of course, us. We're going to try and take this team in Serie B all the way to the Champions League and winning Serie A as well. Something they've never done before in their history. Their only trophy being the Coppa Italia in like 1940. And also, we're on PC for this series. And there's a chance we might get mods at some point later on in this series. There's no guarantee, but there's a chance. And that could take the series to even like the next level. But we'll have to wait and see. But that is our home stadium, the Pierre Luigi Penzo Stadium. We, of course, got the orange seats. And I mean, we're starting this stadium, but in the future, we could always upgrade to a bigger stadium at some point. If we get to the levels that we're hoping to get to. And uh, first, transfer window is going to be enabled. Hey, if we want to take this team to where it needs to be, it's going to need some work from us. There is Pirlo, new manager of Venezia FC. Can this man take them to the top? And Venezia appoint Pirlo as new boss. I feel like if you guys like this and it becomes full series, it's going to be such a good series. So in Serie B, Venezia are like, a, I would say a top six team at least, especially in terms of like FIFA rating. But IRL, they're like mid table. They haven't had a great start. On paper though, we're one of the stronger teams in this division. So I expect us to do decent, but we are playing an ultimate competitor mode on a player based difficulty on as well. And we also have increased the sliders and make the game even tougher. So this is going to be a challenge. Also because we're starting with a budget of 9 million. I mean, it's a decent amount, but it's and nowadays, it's honestly not a lot. And hey, Pirlo's first season with Venezia and the board want him to win the Serie B title in season one. So there's a lot of pressure on him here. Okay, let's go over the squad. Um, at keeper, we have, oh man, I'm going to, I'm going to mispronounce these names like crazy. We will learn them with time, but Joronen is our keeper. He's 72 rated at 29. We are probably going to need a new keeper. I think I'm um, left back. We got Ullman. We got Haps as well. I don't think we need a new left back. Okay, I feel like the C's are pronounced like an S. I feel like it. I'm not sure though. Um, Ketsaroni is our captain. 72 rated center back, 26. Looks decent. But other than that, we have, uh, Capitelli, but center back department needs some work. That is for sure. Uh, right back is a uh, he looks he looks okay at 28 years old. So two Americans, uh, Tanner Testman and also uh, Gianluca. Who I think he has like 86 or something potential this year. So definitely a player for the future of this series. We also have uh, Cuisance as well from France. He's a very good uh, young player too. Formerly of Bayern Munich, I believe. And also this Anderson guy that doesn't look too bad at 23 years old. On the wing, we have Sheryshev. This is such a weird, this team has a very unique squad, I feel like. 31-75, it's not a bad player to have to help us get promotion maybe in season one. Experienced player. And then Dennis Johnson, Norway 24, definitely not bad. A few players in the 60s and then, oh man, how do I pronounce this name? Uh, Pojan Paulo. I don't know, but he actually looks pretty good. And also another weird one, Aaron Connolly is on loan at Venezia from Brighton. It's kind of a weird one, but I like it though. Okay, I believe that's right there, our best starting 11. We got Cuisance, number 10, so he's gonna be a cam. He's a plus two at cam. And then Bozio is a box to box mid. And uh, man, uh, Fiordolino is our CDM. I think he's our highest rated like defensive mid. So the team is looking too bad, but like I said, this team needs some work. Uh, the bench starts to get very, very thin, very, very quickly. All right, so we got a pretty big short list here of players that are within our price range, young, potential, could be future stars of this team. They're all gonna be scouted. And then of course, I'm gonna need more suggestions in the comments down below. Who you think we should sign in this team? But keep in mind our budget, nine million. It's gotta be kind of within that price range, at least for now. But we're gonna scout all these guys up. Although Pirlo has made his first signing already, and it's uh, it's it's a very big one. Fabrizio Romano reports again about Venezia. Zlatan Ibrahimovic has reached an agreement on a one-year contract with Venezia, with a plan to become a minority owner in Venezia after his contract runs out. Andre Pirlo has convinced Zlatan to join Venezia for one season, his final season of professional football, to try and lead us to promotion. And like Fabrizio said. He's going to retire, then look to buy a part of the club, a percentage. That's the reason he's joining us for one season here. Of course, captaining the team. Obviously, Zlatan sees the potential of Venezia as a brand in the future to become a big club. And he wants to hop on the train early. That's why he's spending his final season here with us to try and get promotion back to Serie A. And I got to say, he does look good in that Venezia kit. Yeah, he's still 82 rated, although throughout the season, I think he's going to drop very swiftly, I think. He's got 58 pace, which we're going to have to work around that. But still, technically, he's still such a good player in FIFA. So he's going to help us a lot and also lead some of the youngsters in the team. And also, so we're not starting with the homegrown talent at all just to make it tougher for us. So we are starting with a clean youth academy. Obviously a long-term project. We need to set up the youth system though. We need to build something that like rivals Barcelona. We only have 9 million though. So we're going to start with Gabriel uh, Russo. And of course, we're going to send him to Italy for three months. And we'll do, uh, actually let's do nine months. If we have money left over, then we might buy two more scouts if we have the money though. Okay. Okay. Zlatan. Greetings boss. On behalf of the whole team, I wanted to welcome you to Venezia. Uh, hey Ibra, you've been here as long as us. Now it should actually be Venezia. Welcome to Ibrahimovic. So in terms of selling players like I want to keep Boozy, I want to keep Cuisance. Pretty much everyone that's worth over like a, over 2 million, 3 million, I want to keep. At least uh, for now in the first episode. So in terms of selling players, I'm not actually, I don't actually think there's anyone that we are going to actively look to get rid of. Although just saying that, we got an offer here for Savo, Savo, when? You know, I'm going to call him Michael. We're going to call him Mike. Um, 2.3 million for him. He's only valued at 1.8. I mean, 
if we can get a little bit more it might be worth it considering how low our budget is we got the ebro jersey in the office he's been here for two weeks we absolutely love it um let's try to go up to like maybe three million i'm hoping it doesn't walk out but if we can get that he's 23 years old we could replace him with a younger more high potential center back easily so 2.4 so they're going up to let's try 2.7 2.7 i would be happy with that i would sleep comfortable at night knowing we let him go for that much and we will if he uh, if he accepts it okay that was quick he is so much for not selling anyone but 66 rated we could definitely buy a center back probably cheaper than that who has got more potential than this guy so uh pirlo first first departure of the club kick him out and is walking him out in that in that nifty suit i apologize michael but we need the money we're not about just barely scraping by in italy now we are looking to take over italy okay so an offer for our 37 year old finnish goalkeeper he's definitely gone even though it's only 320,000. at this point anything will help okay so budget is up to 12 million now it's a bit better and scouting reports are in so some of these guys like asunu is definitely going to be uh, uh too expensive for now but players like martone here is probably going to be uh in our within our price range 3.8 million and i'm going to need to learn how to pronounce some of these names which you guys know it's going to be it's going to be a challenge so i mean looking at the team i feel like what we need the most is probably another center back to uh replace capitelli in the starting lineup he could probably be on the bench but i think we definitely need a stronger center back that's important here probably priority number one okay we may have been gifted like a free agent from the gods here um jason denier formerly of man city and i believe leon right he is a free agent he's 77 rated 27 years old and we can set him up right now on a free contract i believe in real life you went to like a country that's not in the game so for some reason in fifa he's a free agent we would be foolish to not enter entertain this right here like i don't think there's a chance for us to get a player this quality this window especially on a permanent deal and i mean pirlo has got that he's got that pull he's got that like reputation the status is a legend to bring players in that might not have come otherwise and he only wants 10k a week you know what i think we're doing this up to 11k that's a that's a no-brainer deal because we need a center back now that is uh that's an absolute steal there is a pirlo with his first signing other than zlatan of course and i wasn't expecting that he's pretty the only free agent i saw that was worth it actually we're not gonna be signing any more free agents but uh man this is a big one and it is gonna help this team uh a major amount here that's an a plus signing to me so he goes straight into the starting 11 um capitelli backup denier starting on the right side so that's a very big hole filled i feel like cdm is probably a worry spot in this team i know boozy can play though but he's only got 62 defending i kind of wish that to be higher so I feel like cdm and then probably uh more a winger for the bench at least because i feel like attacking options on the bench we get very very thin but man denier and zlatan we are off to a, a pretty good start in terms of signings and i think we already got our eyes on our next one so from wolverhampton wanderers we're gonna look into possibly loaning in chiquinho on a loan to buy deal for a potential uh permanent deal in the future i mean he would be exactly that attacking option on the bench that we we're looking for let's try to pay least of his wages as we can to save money like 30 70 they're gonna want 60 40 a 50 50 50 seems fair so do that 50 50 they're gonna accept that so 2.8 million uh buy clause i'm pretty sure his value is like three but you know what i'm just gonna accept that six percent selling clause we're doing that so end of season if he's actually good 2.8 million and it's a permanent deal i like that now of course he's got to accept it first which he has not and now i will shed tears oh man that was such a good deal with chiquinho should go back in for him maybe in a week that was such a good deal though okay first uh scouting report this year is we've got three players um i mean we probably should be more selective here or less selective but these three guys look terrible so uh first one i mean we'll keep this guy scouting further but first one looks it looks pretty rough okay someone has had a change of heart because chiquinho has been loaned in from wolves he needed a little bit of convincing from pirlo you know a little bit of a, a promise of what's gonna happen at this club in the future so 2.8 million by clause if we want to activate it by the end of the season so i am excited about this signing because he could be so good for the future and we are so happy that he had a change of change of mind here so number 11 shirt is free so chiquinho you get the number 11 i'm not exactly sure what his potential is but it's got to be good he is one for the future okay in preseason we went unbeaten so i like to see that but now we're starting Serie b first game is against uh, genoa all right first uh press conference for uh Pilo. what is the mood ahead of your first competitive game let's say we'll try to improve every day we know that uh to get where we want to be it's gonna be a long road and it and it starts now is the team good enough to win the league i feel like zlatan plus uh denier did i say his name i think it is it's probably not i don't know but those two additions if they stay healthy i think we definitely have a chance to win the league okay so really quick our sliders um cpu shot around 35 pass around 20 so shooting and passing with the cpu should be much better um goal keeping on 55 they're marking on 60 that is the same for a uh, user two and then the first touch is on 25 so this is gonna be a very very tough crew mode. that's at least what we're hoping for but first game of the Serie b season zlatan's in there chiquinho is starting the road to glory the road to the champions league final starts with this first game and the fans are the fans are out in full force for the first game i feel like the stadium looks pretty decent for the first stadium i feel like we did a good job it's got the green black and orange so as far as tactics go we're pretty much all unbalanced uh, we got to get a feel of the team first before we start putting in any like actual like tactical ex 
extreme changes first, but we got the Zlatan Tifo. That is beautiful. The fans already love them. I would say Venezia are my favorite uh, Italian team. I would say that. Is it uh, because mostly the kits? Uh, yeah, probably. So first game of potentially a very long and amazing Road to Glory is kicked off and Zlatan is the one to do it. Let's see how we do because uh, first game on these sliders too. I'm not sure what to expect. I could see us winning this game easily. I could also see us losing. I have I have absolutely no clue. I'm definitely going to need our wingers to get uh, Zlatan some service. And Chiquinho, Loney from Wolves. That's going to be handball. You know what? I'll take that actually. If you get a chance to fire a ball into Zlatan, I'll take that. You know what? It's definitely not a bad chance here. Not a bad for Cuisance to whip one in. Okay, Zlatan is right in the middle. You know what? We're just going to dink it to him. Just a little tiny cross. We're showing that defender. And Zlatan is so much bigger. He's so much bigger. He's going to try and head that. Okay, that was such an awkward chance, but... Okay, Fjord. Okay, I gotta learn these names. I have no idea who I'm controlling. Of course, our first shot's gonna be blocked, though. It's FIFA. What do you expect? Now, I feel like the defense is gonna be a large issue, mostly because of me in the start of the series and uh, playing with these low-rated players. Gonna take some getting used to. Keeper, keeper, keeper. Thank you. Fjord Delino. Man, that's quite a name. That's such a good name, but it's gonna take me some time to get used to saying that. Okay, right, that's a good steal. Get it up to the big man. Now, he's gonna go on a run, and Chiquinho cross. What a cross by Chiquinho. Oh, Zlatan, that's a tap in. Oh, the Ibra I know finishes that. How is it not a goal? Cuisance, chance to shoot. He's going to shoot. It's going to be blocked. Bro, what a ball by Chiquinho on the right wing. All right, Jonsson to Ibra. Now, this Jonsson guy from Norway seems like he might be pretty good. We're going to try and cross it in. Okay, whoa, that's quite the cross. Goes to Zampano. He's going to shoot, and not a bad shot, but it's going to be saved. Uh, Buzio wins that. This might be a shot chance. It is. Cuisance, no, it's going to be handball. Oh, I was about to whip that one in. Yeah, Chiquinho might be 69 rated, but the man feels like he's like 75. All right, free kick sent in. That's a pretty good one. Keeper, keeper. I feel like you should be more concerned with that, but he was a uh, pretty common collected, I would say. If we get mods at some point, we're definitely going to do a thing where every youth player we find, every player we sign is going to have a real face, which is, like I said, why we started the series on PC. So if that happens, it will take this series to the next level. We might concede. Oh, oh, okay. I thought we were let off there, but then we weren't. 1-0 uh, to Genoa. I mean, what happened here? It just sits a good ball and then Denier. I tried to block that. I thought he was going to go to the right, actually. And then it's an unfortunate just rebound. We definitely got to be better than that, though. Like I said, Venezia are mid-table, so this... This might not be... I thought I'd just give up a pen. We definitely took him out as he shot there. Like, I think this might be a pen, but... Ref didn't see it. We are not going to worry. Uh, maybe they don't have VAR in Serie B. Okay, all of a sudden, we're kind of struggling a bit. Oh, that's going to be onside, and that's going to be a goal. All of a sudden, we are kind of struggling. 2-0 to Genoa in the first game. That's a good ball to Janssen. Again, why is the cross so far? I want that to go to in the middle. Why is that cross the other side of the field? Oh, it might. This has been, this has been, this has been a shocking start in this first half. 40 minutes and 3-0 down. I mean, there's a lot of game left, but this one, uh, it's going to take a lot for a comeback. Man, Zlatan finishes that chance, and this could be a much different start, too. Hey, we play to the final whistle. Cuisance gets it to Janssen. Janssen. Good turn. We're going to shoot that. Janssen shot. Good save by the keeper. All right, Zlatan, you better be in the box here. You better be right. Man, it's too close to the keeper. I, I thought I understood corners for a second, and then all of a sudden I don't. I feel like every player has a different curve, and I, I don't know where it's exactly going to go. Okay, not 4 now, right? Not, not 4. Oh, he's going for a, he just went for a power shot. Uh, 4 nil first half in Pirlo's first game. What is he going to say to this team at halftime? What is he going to say? All right, we got to come out and be like a United. We got to win the second half. Win the second half, and that's a good uh, good stepping stone move. Just pretend the game's no-no right now. Win the second half. If we do that, it'll be a very good, uh, a positive move in the right direction. All right, Chiquinho gets it to Zlatan. Zlatan is going to shoot from a tough angle and almost scored. Corner swung in. That's much better to our center back. That's one. Okay, grab the ball. We're four one down. Whoa, the ball is doing uh, some spins there. I'm not sure what that's about, but hey, the vice captain of the team. I forgot his name, but he scored. It's a very strong header. Hey, that's that's a good response. All right, one nil to uh, Venezia. Okay, it might be one one. Man, my my defenders just look. They look like they're having a quite a tough time here. Uh, Denier, you're supposed to be our big free agent signing, and I need you to make a challenge. He just went around him. If I go in for a tackle, it's going to be a penalty. I'm shielding him. I'm trying to hold him up, but he just he just turns, and then it's a shot. Look at that turn right there. Okay, 1-1. One, one. Uh, this game's tied up. Uzio is a lot of 10. I like that, but that passing's much better. Chiquinho gets it to Cuisance. Oh, man, I wanted to turn a little bit. 60th minute game is a 1-1 one, one in our hearts. We've at least not conceded four in like 20 minutes in the, in the second half. And now Buzio plays that to Cuisance. Cuisance, we're going to shoot that. Oh, man. That was like a... It was actually Zlatan, actually. I thought it was Cuisance. And I don't know who to blame, our fullbacks or our center backs, because I feel like our center backs are being left uh, by themselves, like every single attack almost. 
and it's 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 not faring well for us they're not set to attack or anything they're just uh they're just not there that's a good tackle finally hey okay, bro that's a great ball to have so you got cuisance in the middle cuisance oh how do we not get that ball through i didn't trust uh cuisance's heading ability there okay we need to refresh uh sheriff chef's coming on at cam so another one of our veterans seeing what he could do maybe we can still win this game 2-1 or we're gonna lose it 2-1 because oh oh god we just can't defend at all bro everyone like i feel like i can't get a tackle in i'm just trying to not give up a penalty but we get turned so easily hey i said it this, this series is gonna be a challenge Thank God. The only thing we've done like this is the Kensington save, where it was actually this much of a challenge. So, okay, Buzio. This is definitely going to be one to just uh, forget. Bro, like, even that pass right there. How is that that bad? Oh, man. Okay, at least just don't make it seven. I like six. I don't like seven, though. Okay, Chiquinho's in. Can we actually score our second, though? This is yours. This is yours, Chiquinho. Oh, he's going to save it. Oh, it's going to be seven. Okay, we're going to lose the second half What I already forgot what the scoreline was. 7-1. We're going to be real with ourselves. We just lost 7-1. We're not going to sugarcoat it. This team needs a telling off. This team needs a lot right now. It's going to be 8. Bro, I have... Okay, what a save by the keeper, actually. It is not 8. Something to celebrate. Chiquinho has been a very small bright spot. Zlatan is going to shoot that. Oh, Zlatan Ibrahimovic giving the, giving the fans something to celebrate. Okay, we should have grabbed the ball, but you know what? That one deserves a celebration. What a goal by Zlatan. Look at the fans. There's no one there. There's no one there left. Chiquinho with the assist, but oh, Zlatan outside the boot finish. That is disgusting. That is, uh, man, that is, that is classic. Look at the stadium, though. The stadium is empty. Hey, this is a, this is a long-term project, and that is written in all caps. Oh, they're going to make it eight. They're going to make it eight. Keeper, thank you. Okay, end our suffering, please, ref. Thank you. That is the roughest first game of any series I think we've ever had, which shows how much this is going to be a challenge. Uh, this is one to learn from, to think about, but then to immediately forget. Good thing most of our fans weren't even there to actually see it. Or they left. Okay, we're going to stop there. So we got what? We got four days left of the window. We still got 11 million to spend. So we've actually been smart with our money. 11 million to make this team better. And we got players on the short list. Who should we sign? Of course, let me know in the comments down below. We got options, but this team is going to need a lot more work than just a few more signings in this window. It is the Venezia Italian takeover led by Zlatan, Pirlo, and us. Really quick, our first signings were Jason Denier as a free agent, a center back. We brought in Chiquinho from Wolves. He has a buy clause in his, in his loan deal, so we could make that permanent. And then, of course, Zlatan joined. So we're going to finish the transfer window, and we got 11 million left to make this team better. And I mean, this team needs a lot of work, so it's going to have to be spent very smartly here. Okay, first comment. Uh, sign equal. He's very young talent in box to box mid with a high potential. Okay, so I'm pretty sure we could loan him in this season. I don't know what his wages are. We're going to find out. But there's a good chance we loan him in. And next we should sign Jude Bellingham's brother from, uh, he's actually at uh, Birmingham, not Bournemouth, but is it Joby or Job? I have no idea. Joby sounds cooler because it's more like Kobe. Yeah, apparently he's 51 rated, which is pretty low, but he's got potential. So that's kind of like perfect for the series. He might be really cheap, which means we probably maybe could buy him. Once again, we're going to wait and find out. And then you should absolutely trust uh, Poj and Paolo. As I say that, I don't even know. And I give him a chance. Yeah, he actually looks really good. He's 73 rated, 27 years old. He's got a real face, which is uh, pretty cool. We do have Zlatan, but I think Zlatan is only here for one season. Maybe season two, Pojan Paolo takes over that starting spot. Because he does look decent, especially this season. Uh, Zlatan probably doesn't have the best stamina. So um, Pojan Paolo will definitely get his chance this season for sure. So like I said, not a lot of money to spend. And we don't have that much time left in the window either. We only have four days. And we lost the first game of the season 7-2. So it's a sign that this season is going to be a challenge with our sliders, ultimate competitive mode. And uh, the team needs a lot of work, obviously. Pirlo, the man has got his hands full here. Now, looking at the team, I feel like one of the most important positions is maybe a new CDM. Although actually, uh, Fiorellino actually doesn't look that bad. I still feel like we need another like defensive minded uh, midfielder. And then also maybe a new keeper. Uh, Jodonen, I don't know if he's good enough for us. He's 72 rated. Um, First, let's try to loan in uh, Iqbal. Um, we're going to do a basic term loan because I can't probably promise that much more money. I feel like Chiquinho is going to be a very good pickup maybe. So we got to have like 3 million at least left over. Now, what are his wages at United? I'm very curious. Okay, they're pretty cheap. This should be doable. Let's see if we can get 40, 60. Now, of course, he has to accept. I mean, being at Man United, I'm not sure if he's going to reject us or not. So we'll see if he does. But that was pretty smooth. Now, one of you guys also brought my attention to Alexis Vega. He's a free agent, 24 years old from Mexico. And this dude looks like an absolute baller. I don't know how he's a free agent, but he looks like he is actually so good. 81 to 91 dribbling. Once again, I, I don't want to sign too many free agents, but it would be foolish to not try here to see what we can do. Problem is we don't have time enough to scout him and I don't know at all what he wants in his wages. So I feel like he's probably around uh, deniers overall. So we gave him like 10K. He's only 24 years old though. This would be a steal. He's got a real face too. Now, could we actually get this done? This would be so clutch. He wants 12K per week. Okay, that's kind of a lot, but for a free signing, I feel like that might be doable. We get this down at all, though. I'm trying to save money. I'm Mr. Krabs out here right now. He's probably going to want a little bit more. What if we do 12.3? What if we raise it to begin with? I think I would be cool with that because he's got to be like 75 plus, which is way better than what we have starting. 24 years old could grow in this series a lot. Okay, he only wants 200 more pounds a week or euros. 24 years old 
we can't pass up on it we're signing them up that is a clutch find that was notified by in the comments with your guys's help we are going to rebuild this team and take them all the way to the champions league and i would say alexis vega like that's that's such a clutch pickup i want to see how actually good he is i'm guessing like 76 he's got to be 76 rated there he is in the new kits by the way i think pc modding is actually going to be a possibility this season or this year actually so we might have like new kits every season in this series maybe and also face mods and stuff so but that right there is a very very good pickup now what overall is he he is 70 wait 79 he's valued at 21 million wait wait what oh 78 okay this dude looks like a baller even more than i thought 78 rated 81 acceleration 80 sprint speed he becomes our second highest rated player yeah okay that's that's an extremely clutch pickup 81 long shots i like seeing that um we're gonna give zampano number two and then we're giving vega number seven because this man looks like he wants number seven that is clutch so still 10 million so cdm i couldn't find too many um ambedu was on loan at valencia last season but now he's on loan at spezzi i believe i mean i would like florentino a lot he's just a little bit too expensive he would be so good though especially young um we could actually loan in danilo Pereira. Although I'm not sure how that works. Plus his wages, he's on 72,000 per week, 75,000. So that, that wage is going to make that very tough. We got Matic, who for his age would be very expensive. And also Axel Witzel, who's still very expensive for his age. There's also Morgan Schneiderlin, who's much cheaper. He's probably worse, but he's younger and cheaper. So I'm thinking Morgan, Morgan Schneiderlin, you know, he's playing in France. The Italian game is slower. So maybe it suits his uh, his his stats now. We're going to see how much it would cost. 2.8 million. Could we get Schneiderlin for like 2.4? This would make that a lot more enticing than 2.8. Okay, they accept 2.4. Man, I probably could have got less, but I don't think that much less, though. Now, I don't know what is... Okay, 30k per week is his wage. Ooh, he would have to take a wage cut, though. We're not paying him 30k per week at all. You know what? CDM is important. We're going to go in for him. No, I don't I just need you to, to accept a wage cut, and, and you're in. Definitely crucial. I'm just scared he wants season one, like, 20k per week. We can't even do 20. I mean, he's 32 years old. He'd be good for, like, a season or two. He would definitely be our best uh, CDM if we signed him, I believe. Okay, he wants us to do the wage. So, man, what do we give him? If we gave Alexis, what, 12, and he's 78 rated? Schneiderwin is not 78. I think he's, like, 75. Maybe even lower. So I'm thinking more in the ballpark of like 8.5. 8.7 would still give us a decent amount uh, in the budget left. So we're going to go with that and I'm going to give him a tiny bonus. See what he says. I don't think I'm interested in paying much more than that. So Schneiderlin, tell me what you want. They are going to... Okay, they're going to walk away. I mean, I don't want to pay a 32-year-old that doesn't have great potential. He's not even that good to begin with. Like a lot more than that. So I don't think I'm... I think we're okay with that. Our first uh, failed transfer. I mean, let's go in for Pereira for a loan deal just because it's possible. I'm so curious. Like a 30-year-old on loan. I like that you can do it because it's more realistic. It, it happens here and there in the in real life it's just uh the wages are gonna be an extreme problem here we have to pay forty five thousand. nah i would have to pay literally like i'd do 15 i would pay 15 probably for him i'd probably do that but they're gonna want they're gonna want a lot more 50 50 i don't even think he'd accept it so i'll go to 18 that's the most i would pay for Pereira, and they're gonna walk away okay kind of expected that man cdm might be tough i don't like the options like i feel like they're really old i think i'd rather play fiorellino so we're gonna maybe gonna wait on that speaking of old players though uh gianluigi buffon obviously very close with pirlo like very close and he's already playing in Serie B at parma we need a keeper this might make a lot of sense now i'm wondering if we could offer someone just to make it easier on the budget like 700k per week could probably offer him i don't want to offer someone so young like he's 22 i kind of feel like he might i might i don't want to swap a 22 year old for a uh that old but a 33 year old we already have better four better center backs than this guy so why not actually try that what about just straight up because he's he's 44 years old parma we're giving you a decent center back he's decent okay they want they want pirini man he's I feel like he might be kind of good though he's worth 875 if you want a winger i'll give you our worst our literally worst winger i'll try that plus 140,000. i'll try that what are you gonna say to that they want 220 okay 220 plus him i think we're doing this because that dude is 500 value it means his potential is probably real low and we get a 79 rated keeper and we weaken a team in the league too and he's so close to pirlo where it makes so much sense obviously they played with the italy national team for what how many years we're gonna have two 40 year olds in the starting 11 maybe okay i'm thinking about it what are his wages though oh, 4.5 oh we're doing this this is a no-brainer the italian legends combined for one more season probably he's even taking a wage cut out of respect for the club gianluigi buffon is signed up to venezia this is definitely like uh the best the best transfer we could have made in terms of price tag the best rating we got for an older keeper i know he's gonna be here for like one season maybe but still it fits the storyline it was cheap and he's an italian legend fitting for an italian road to glory okay the legendary buffon in the venezia kit it's it's beautiful okay we can't sign any more 40 year old players we're gonna have too many two is enough okay so he starts and also vega comes up obviously gonna start because he's so good i kind of want to start chiquinho because if he grows a lot and we're only gonna pay what three million to buy him at the end of the season that's gonna be a steal so i kind of want to start him a lot we are converting cuisance to a cam uh fiorellino to a cdm i feel like maybe a maybe a better center back than kikaroni because we conceded seven goals in the first game i'm scared about our defense um let's see 
see if uh, Iqbal accepts the loan move. Let's see that first. Okay, Iqbal has accepted the loan move. We got another midfielder. So, give him a chance. I doubt he'll be too expensive in season two. So, if he's good for us, we can always buy him. So, I mean, not a bad pickup. Obviously, Pirlo is not too worried about it, you know. Okay, transfer deadline day. Okay, Joby Bellingham. I really wonder if it's Joby or Job. I like Joby so much. It's probably Job. No, I feel like he might be a decent cam. Once again, can we swap someone we're not using? I don't know if we can, though. I don't think I have anyone left. Now, if he's 51 rated, but he's got potential, he's got to be real cheap. Like, what if we try 400k? Okay, 450. I don't I don't want him to walk away. Let's let's try that. 450? I mean, that's that's basically nothing. They are going to... They're just going to accept that. Okay, 450. Did I overpay? 450 is nothing, though. I mean, we're... This is, this is probably an easy deal to make. I do like the story of us signing Jude Bellingham's brother. I do like that story Line, so and we do play with a cam so could be a backup cam 450 uh, 100 euros a week i almost feel bad but hey if you want that amount you're getting that amount we have signed jude bellingham's uh, younger brother up now it is quite the number of players we're signing here but hey this team needs a lot of work this is the pirlo revolution now what is this man's overall 450 i'm not expecting a lot i'm guessing 51 like you guys said uh 58 apparently um the younger bellingham is 58 honestly 58 rated that's definitely not bad with 80 potential. Um, he's a plus one at cam, so he's got 56 defending though. He's actually very like his brother, box to box. Anyway, so I think we'll keep him as a box to box. Actually, he looks pretty good though. 450,000. That's nothing. Okay, for us, I mean, that's 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 kind of something. So we got like max maybe like six million to spend on a center back if we if we find what we like. Six million is not a lot. Um, we could loan in uh, Antonio Silva. Interesting. If we loan in anyone else, we probably look first. Okay, we can't loan in anyone else. So in that price range is basically uh Dardai at four at 3.8 value. Other than that, we're not selling on the old players so fazio and pk they're not joining us I feel like everyone else is more expensive maybe tuan zebe too so tuan zebe and uh and dardai and tuan zebe is a little bit better but he's more expensive i mean 24 years old pretty much no chance of united to play right now 87 sprint speed let's let's try it out let's try throwing in that old center back and we can maybe try like what about like 4.5 maybe like four maybe try four try that okay, you know what we got a low ball here we gotta be smart 3.5 3.5, we'll try that. Come on, Eric. You've flown all the way to Italy to negotiate with Serie B side Venezia. Okay, wait. 3.5 million plus a 10% selling clause. That's it. We get a little bit less. Should I be should I try and be cheekier? 3.2? Because that sounds like a great deal if you ask me. 3.2. Ooh, they're going to accept that. Okay, I wasn't expecting that. 24 years old, 74 rated, only 3.2 million. That's 2 million below his value. Bro, like, that's just an insane deal that I don't think we can pass up on. So, I think uh, Tuan Zebe. Oh, his wage is 60k per week. Okay, he's going to have to take a pay cut. I didn't think about that. 60k per week. Okay, I'm not paying more than like... I mean, our highest wage earner, I think, is is around Vega, like at 15. What is he going to want? He is going to... Is he going to tell us? Oh, we got to do it, man. I can't justify paying 60 I can't justify even paying 30, to be honest. It's got to be like 19.5. That is probably the highest I would go for him. We're not going to break the wage structure of the club for one player. We're going to try this. He might walk away, but we're going to try it. Let's do a bigger bonus. That would probably give us enough to sign Chiquino at the end of the season. So I feel like he's going to say no, but he is. He's going to walk away. Man, I mean, we, we probably could have paid it, but that's just a lot of money. We can't loan him in either. I think his contract is, is expiring. But like Chiquino is on 30K per week and he's on loan. We're not even paying the full amount. We can't give someone like 30 plus. Vega is literally the highest owner at the club we can't do that so um let's go in for the other one what was the other one uh that or die although he's german so i have no idea how to pronounce that what if we do is straight up two million what did i say now he's got potential so i'm guessing they want more that center mid actually looks pretty good so i don't want to do that 2.5 plus six percent and they want 2.7 I mean, that's definitely doable. 2.6. Give me 100,000 off that and they accept that. Now, I believe he's got some potential. So, I think we might do this instead. Because I feel like we do need a center back at least that can grow a little bit. He'll be better than uh, our second highest rate center back probably really quick. So, I gotta learn how to say his name. But I think this might be our final signing here. Oh, yeah. 7.5. That's much different than 60. I wanted Tuan Zebe more. But, you know what? This this man will do just fine. I hope so. Quite a busy transfer window, huh? Yeah, honestly, he's probably starting off this guy pretty soon. He's 26. Uh, Kekaroni's actually decent. So, maybe he'll start actually for now but very soon probably will take that starting spot but and i think that's the last pickup of the window of course we wish we could do more but i want to save money just in case we want to sign jikini on a permanent deal and also save for january too so six million i think i'm cool with that so trans window is complete now can we get our first one of the season maybe it'd be nice after the seven two loss we are going to fix the kit numbers as well of course we fall on number one so that is one two three four five six seven eight you know seven i think seven players brought in plus uh ebra is eight eight players signed in one window is it's not Nottingham Forest, but that's that's definitely a lot. Now we do have some money for some youth scouts, but 
I feel like they're gonna, they're gonna cost a lot. I mean, Maurizio Martino for 250K, I feel like we could probably go with that. For now, we're gonna stick with that. You know, in real life, they have an American sporting director, so why not do the US for three months? Why not? So we are gonna do that. Hopefully, can find us something. So next game, Cagliari. Okay, unavailable players. Oh, they're okay. Wait, they're on international duty, so we can't even use them. Four starting players are out for this game. How many games are in Serie B? How many games do they play? Is it like the like the championship? Do they play like 46? I don't know. Though. I don't know actually how much they play. Okay, this might not be our first win, but even Pojan Paulo is out, bro. Okay, we're gonna give Bellingham the start. Iqbal, put him on the bench. Um, I think what is Chiquinho's finishing? 68. Uh, maybe Chiquinho up top. Yeah, let's throw Chiquinho up top. Uh, Sherishev out wide, and then Jonsson. And I guess we go with this. The whole team is out basically. Also, Dardai uh, gets his debut. So uh, Buffon will captain the side and see if we can get our first win. I mean, that's pretty rough, but I guess that's the life of a lower league team like National International Duty. We get no breaks. We're playing. Uh, last time we played here. At the home stadium. We lost 7-2. We're going to try to get our first win, but man, I don't I don't know. Pirlo does not want to lose his first two games. A win here would definitely make a statement. You know, the last game was just a fluke, but I have a feeling, a slight feeling it was not. Although, Shikinio, oh, Cherichev, you're offside. I need you to hold up your run a little bit. I'm playing with the same sliders we used in the Barcelona save, so... It's ultimate competitive mode, and also the sliders are even increased more, which is a challenge, which is exactly what we want. All right, Joby Bellingham getting the start. I don't know if it's Joby or Joe, but we're going with Joe. Get it to Chiquinho. Get it to Chiquinho. He's going to shoot. Chiquinho. Okay, that shot was so slow. What was that? Bellingham. Ding to Chiquinho. Chest down. Can he get a shot away? Okay, that went off his face. Kind of an awkward chance. I mean, this has been a better start. Cherishev. Flip it to someone. Okay, that cross was pathetic. Chiquinho is looking like a player that's going to be special. Also, Cuisance. That's going to be a corner at least. All right, we've not started that bad. That's going to be a corner. Okay, that corner is... Whoa! That dude jumps so high. Chiquinho. Fiorellino. Get it back to Chiquinho. That should be goal number one. Oh, Chiquinho. He is going to be special for us. Hey, we saved money for him. That's how That's how much we think of him. Like 69 rated, the man feels much better than that. That's a good finish. All right, already much better start than the first game. Okay, he's in again. Chiquinho's in again. Chiquinho, dink that. Oh, okay. That that was that was not the greatest effort from Chiquinho. Chiquinho slides it to Jonsson. Oh, he actually steals it. Okay, he got tackled twice there. Chiquinho gets it to... Now, this Jonsson guy actually looks really good. Okay, Cuisance, you should be in a spot for a tap-in. Gets it to him. Okay, this game... Without some of our starting players, all of a sudden we're playing so much better. Make it make sense. I mean, we still got all the game left, but this has been a wonderful start. Cuisance, Cherishev's in. Okay, is this team just really bad? I mean, Cagliari, they've been in the Serie A recently, right? Are they just bad? Is uh, Genoa the team who beat us 7-2? Are they just that good? I should probably stop talking because my defense probably, uh... Probably not going to stick up for our offense right now. Although, that's a tackle by Fiorellino. Still don't want to say his name. Man, their defense looks as bad as ours. Chiquinho is in. Chiquinho. Low driven shot. Oh, hit the post. Chiquinho, man, he looks so good. All right, second half, 2-0. Honestly, first half, that was that was much better than I expected. Come on, boys, keep that same energy. Good tackle from, uh, is it Ketz? I still don't know these names, man. We're going to learn them. This is only episode two. Puissance gets it too. There's Evan. He's got, oh, he's got some, he's got some speed all of a sudden. Oh, okay, never mind. He just all of a sudden slowed down too. Come on, boys, keep the same energy defensively. Keep the same energy. I want a clean sheet in this game. That's good defending right there. Much better. All right, Janssen. Bellingham's in a good spot. Bellingham. Bellingham, chance to score on his debut. Oh, Joby Bellingham. Job or Joby. I don't know what it is, but he has scored on his Venezia debut. Not a bad finish. 3-0. What a turnaround. We're playing on the exact same sliders and settings with worse players. It might be just the team. I don't know. Right, we got like four subs on to finish the game, and we got a chance here maybe. Oh, what a ball. What a ball to get to Cuisance. Okay. Cuisance, what do we got? Do we got a pass to Chiquinho? Oh, we got a pass. It is going to be... 4-0 to Venezia. 7-2 to 4-0. I would call that. I would call that a comeback. What a bipolar game. Honestly, that first game felt a little... Uh, okay, Iqbal. It's a good uh, good steal. That first game felt a little cheap. Something felt very fishy about it. Connolly. Swing it to Chiquinho, who's on a hat trick. Chiquinho. Chiquinho. Oh, we're going to get by him. That could have been a hat trick. Rissons. Ball through. He's not going to get that, though. We're going to take out the keeper in the process. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What just happened? What is happening? What is it? Oh, we could have scored a tap in. I've never seen that before. Man, we look like a different team here. Up to Cuisance. Cuisance. Oh, we should have scored that. Hey, Pirlo was on the hot seat after the first game, but this game, I think he's taking himself off it because, uh, okay, please clean sheet. No, clean sheet. Buffon, what a save. He's offside, but what a save from the 44-year-old. I think uh, Pirlo has proven he's the man to take this team to the next level, maybe. Uh, Buffon has had not much to do, though, which is probably a good thing. Iqbal, good ball to Aaron Connolly. Also another play on loan. Okay, no, I wanted that to go to Iqbal. He's so offside. Okay, that's it. 4-0. What a comeback game that is. 7-2 to 4-0. I will take that. Especially without without five of our starting players, I think. Okay, we're playing the highlights of the next game. Uh, Zlatan, all the main boys are back. Vegas back. So, what are we going to start with? A loss, a win, and then what? Okay, boys, this looks like a solo run where we might be just uh, screwed. Get back. Everyone run. Buffon. 
We're coming out. 44 years old. Oh, we came out at the wrong time. They're going to score. I think I should have came out earlier than that. All right, Vega, can you whip this in? Of course, we got Zlatan. It's going to go to instead. Man, Ketsaroni, that dude is good from corners. That's the second time he's almost scored. Oh, that could have been a good header pass too. Okay, penalty, 49th minute to Zlatan Ibrahimovic. He's got to score this, right? This is this is Zlatan, top right. Top right from Zlatan. Oh, he's, he is inevitable. Okay, 1-1 in the third game of the season. That has two goals in two games for Zlatan as well. Okay, Venezia solo run. Is that Zlatan? I think it is. Ibra. Oh, chance from Ibra. Oh, this is a good chance. Ibra. Ibra. Ibra is going to finish that. The man is once again inevitable. 2-1 to Venezia. Okay, penalty kick again. Okay, hat trick chance. No, Zlatan's taken off, I think. Yeah, you got taken off. Okay, who's... I guess Vega is the best of penalties. You know, Vega, see if you can score your first goal for the club. Vega top left. Vega top that. It, I thought it was a good penalty. It was not. All right, we got an attack to build up here. Buzio. Why not get that out? What a good ball. That's a beautiful ball. Into Chiquinho. Chiquinho gets it to Janssen. Janssen, we got a cross maybe. Play it back to the fullback. Whip this thing around. Goes to Buzio. Finesse shot. Okay, all that to just be a deflected shot. Now, this seems a little bit too far out to shoot, if you ask me. So, can we call for, uh, call for a second player? What to do with this? Cuisance. You know what? Cuisance. Whoa, I went for... Uh, I went for a power shot. Oh, my controls on PC are flipped. 2-1 though. If we score this, it's definitely uh, it's definitely going to be a win in our third game. Buzio gets it to Vega. Vega. Okay, we just ran into a defender there. Is that going to be it though? That's going to be it. Okay. First game lost. Second game. Comeback win. 4-0. And now third game win. Pirlo. The man is off off the hot seat now. So we go from bottom of Serie B all the way to fifth. That is much better. I would say we made some pretty good pickups in this episode, especially with the uh, budget we got. All right. The Venezia Road to Glory is back. In the last episode, we made a total of eight signings in the first window of this series. That's a, that's a lot of signings. The Pirlo revolution has officially begun. So I feel like we've made this team considerably stronger, but we need to start seeing that in uh, the league standings, the results. We lost our first game 7-2, which was not good, but we bounced back and won our next two games. So we sit in fifth place. Obviously, we want to avoid playoffs if we can. Automatic promotion is the goal, of course. And this episode, we're going to make uh, some significant progress here. Playing a lot of games and also getting a good feel for the squad. So if you want to see more of the series, then drop this video a like. Episode 2 has like 2,000 likes, even on uh, Tyster Plus, which is insane. Like, I appreciate that support so much. I'm going to try to get the series out as much as I possibly can, especially the more support it gathers. So drop a like and hit that sub button so you don't miss a future episode. Our first one definitely gave uh, Poyan Paolo a chance. He's a legend here in Finland. Yeah, without a doubt, I think he's going to play a big part in this series. Because, I mean, he's still only 27. And uh, when Pirlo was at Juventus, he did like the 4-4-2. So we could possibly see Zlatan and Poyan Paolo together up top, which would be interesting to try out. And next one, the kit sponsor for Venezia should be Gucci. Yeah, it really looks like mods are going to be a thing this year. Like, uh, at first, there was doubt, but it looks like we're going to get mods. So a future season making new kits where Gucci is a sponsor sounds like a good idea. And also speaking of mods, I know it's on your plans, but you could sign Holland's cousin. Apparently he's really good. I might be mistaken, but is he actually in career mode though? Because I couldn't find him. And like even Sofifa, he's listed on a customized uh, Sofifa page. So he's like, that means he's not in the squads. I could be wrong though. Let me know if he's actually in the game or not. I couldn't find him. But even if he's not with mods, we could introduce Holland's cousin into this save at some point. And that sounds like a very interesting, uh, interesting idea. Like would that be setting up a future signing of even, even Holland to play with his cousin? Like season four, five, or six. All I'm going to say for now is who knows. Okay, Fiorellino to a CDM. I'm guessing his overall is going to go up. Am I correct? 71. Okay, I'm a little bit correct. 71 going to be 72 in three weeks. That's definitely not uh, not bad though. So like I said, the the 4 2 three, one has worked okay for us. But Pirlo likes the 4 4 two, so we might try that. And also at Juventus, he used the uh, 3 4 two, one. You know, that might have a more Italian flair to it. And it it could be really good too. Definitely going to do some experimenting uh, in this episode because we're going to play a lot of games. Which we're going to try it out in the very first game. Uh, Poli and Paolo and Zlatan up top together in a 4 4 two. Hey, it, it could be deadly. Now, if you guys haven't seen it, we started a Liverpool crew mode on the main channel and we, we changed our sliders for that series we made the game even harder and we're using those sliders on this save too and we turned our competitor mode off because i felt like it actually made the cpu play better so it basically means it's going to be more of a challenge than it already was but that is what we want so this is a true road to glory at its heart okay okay this is okay this is a bad start oh uh, did buffon save that i think he did buffon what a save this could be a bad start it could be a very bad start they almost just scored and okay Iqbal starting this game that's a great clearance actually boy Paulo gets that to chiquinho through to boy Paulo. oh this guy should have kept running Okay, cross that to Vega. Okay, that was very poor. I should have just ran with uh, Poyan Paulo. Chiquinho plays it through to Zlatan. Zlatan, he's going to try to play it back. Beautiful. Chiquinho. Oh, you got to finish that, bro. That's got to be a goal right there. All right, Vega, swing that in. That is going to be two. Chiquinho, again, a good header. Come on, where's the big Zlatan? There he is. Zlatan, is he get to it? No, he's not. Okay, we're shooting this, though. Okay, I don't know. Is Iqbal? Okay, that, was, uh, that wasn't a bad shot. It's going to be a free kick, actually. I am scoring this. I'm calling it. Now, who is the best uh, at free kicks? Vega? It's got to be Zlatan, though. I'm sorry, Zlatan. I'm calling it right now. He's scoring this. I'm good at free kicks now. I am calling it. Zlatan Ibrahimovic is scoring it. 
What did I say? What did I say? I might actually be good at free kicks this year. It was actually pretty sick. That was actually a pretty sick free kick. Like Zlatan, just the slow run up, straight run up. And oh, it's just perfect. Now, I think it's going to be credited actually as an own goal because it goes off the crossbar and it goes off his hand. Yeah, it's going to be an own goal. What is that? That should be Zlatan. Bro, he is going to sue everyone. Boy Impalo might be in. Boy Impalo, good first touch. And he is gonna drag it just a little bit wide it was a good move though vega gets it to zlatan he is just gonna shoot that man zlatan is a beast right now vega swinging in these corners are good actually that's gonna be cleared again are we shooting this one i believe we are shooting this one it's iqbal that's gonna be also blocked again iqbal why not another shot from iqbal he just hit the he just hit the post what am i seeing from these players right now i'm seeing some good shots oh man that's that's such poor defending we should have saved that all oh, buffon that's a second save that is amazing. The man is a fossil and he's still making saves like that. The defense is not looking the, the most strong. Okay, Buffon, he is going to get drug tested. The man is on steroids right now. What an absolute beast. Clear that and we might actually escape this first half without conceding. What a shot. Okay, we're seeing some pretty good shots from uh, both teams here. But uh, that is the first half. Yeah, 442 hasn't felt that bad to start this game, so we'll see. Vega gives it to Poyan Paulo. Just hold it up for a second. I like it. Get it to Vega. I need people to get in the box. Vega. He's going to turn, get it to Haps, and we're swinging this one in. That is going to be two. Zlatan, that's not exactly the cross I wanted, though. Oh, Insigne. I'm guessing that's not the Insigne we come to know. And, okay, that was uh, that was actually good defending. All right, Janssen is on for Chiquinho. And this is a, it's only a slim one-goal lead, so. I feel like we've been kind of comfortable for the most part. We've been challenged a couple times, but, okay, okay. No, 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 I'm saying it. I'm about to jinx it. Okay, that shot was so weak right there. About to jinx it in real time. We need a second. If we don't score in the second, I feel like this might be a draw. Zlatan, what a ball to Janssen just on. Janssen cut inside. Janssen give it to the big man. Zlatan Ibrahimovic. And it's going to be a good save by the keeper. Corner swung in. These corners look so good. We just can't really score from them yet. Iqbal gets it to not our center back, please. Okay, I should have just shot with him, I guess. Vega slides it to Haps. Who, Haps is actually pretty quick. And I'm seeing a cross to Poyan Paulo. Oh, that's a cross. Poyan Paulo. Oh, it's right at the keeper, though. What a good move. The finish just required a little bit more finesse there. Zlatan Ibrahimovic shot. And it's going to go right to the keeper. We only got a minute left, though. This game has gone by a little bit quicker than expected. As long as we keep the ball, I think we're good. Just keep the ball. Eek ball to Zlatan. Boy and Paulo. Actually, that's actually Zlatan. I'm getting players confused. But Janssen gets it too. Eek ball. And Eek ball's going to score and confirm the win. So the problem is, I don't know how good these teams are. I have no idea. It's Serie B. So, like, I don't know if the team we're beating is good or bad. But what I do know is this is going to be a big fat dub to start the episode. Eek ball. First goal for Venezia. Very solid finish. Not a bad game. 2 0. So, first four games, three wins and one loss. I think us, Pirlo, and Zlatan would happily take that. Okay, next game. Okay, I'm going to have so much trouble pronouncing these team names. Um, Perugia. I'm going to go with that. And that's going to be 3 0. Chiquinho, Chiquinho, and Buzio. Another solid win. And then next. Next game is going to be 4-2. Poy Impalo, Poy Impalo, uh, Zlatan, and Vega. Hey, Poy Impalo showing he's a, he's a threat to score. He did good in the last game. He just had two chances, couldn't score, but he, he did good, though. Okay, I think our next game is going to be a tough one. So this game, uh, oh, man. Uh, Citadela. This is going to be 2-0, courtesy of Cuisance and Vega. Okay, in Sim games, we're, uh, we're doing actually pretty good. All right, scouting report. What do we find? Did we find anyone special? Uh, nope. Uh, Nicholas Muller, 300,000. I mean, we'll sign him up to look at him, but I don't feel like he's that good. And then Brandon Williams, bald at age 16. That is unfortunate. From Italia, what can we find? Come on, give us someone good we found no one yet give me someone good we are not gonna find anything yet so the american is 15 6 4 cdm he's 6 4 at 15 definitely more of a center back so we're, we're, we're gonna make him a center back and see what that does to his overall that 44 passing and dribbling though that is that is rough okay we face uh como next which they're in second so this is first first second look at our start after that first loss 7 2 we recovered so well the owners have put faith in pirlo and i mean it looks like it's paying off okay unfortunately uh zlatan's on an international duty and also uh did Deniers as well. Oh man, what do we play then? We'll try the three at the back. I want to try that actually. Boy, and Paulo's gone too, man. This is gonna suck when players leave like this so often. Okay. Uh that die in for denier. Uh let's do let's do Vega up top and then let's play probably Shedishev. I think that's what we're gonna have to do. So Vega starts a striker, Chikino on the right. We are gonna go with that, see how the 3 4 2 1 feels, how it works. Hopefully we don't miss Zlatan too much. Because this is first first second. Yeah, okay, boys, get the field ready. Get the photographers out. The field better be spotless. Oh, their their kits are sick. Oh, Pirlo's getting uh fired up bro this como team's kits are like sick i like that blue vega oh this could be a good start chiquinho drags it a bit wide man our finishing needs to be a bit a bit sharper that is the life of a club our level okay catrone takes a shot and buffon is playing so good is that the same catrone from wolves he's playing in serie b i have no clue but corner sent in and Chiquinho, what a clearance. That is, there's bodies on the floor right now, though. That is fired in, and that is going to be cleared. Okay, this team, okay, this team seems pretty good. 
I feel like that shot was right at Buffon, though. He's made a lot of good saves. We're going to take a closer look at this one, though. I feel like it's kind of right at him, but let's see. Okay, we lost track of him there. Okay, that's kind of a tough one. I'm not going to blame uh, Buffon too much. Okay, 1-0 down. This team feels like they mean business. Vega through to Shedeshev. We can't get that quite, but look at the press. Okay, they broke out of our press like it wasn't even there. Okay, this game is feeling a bit different from the last one. A little bit different. Buffon, good save. We can't go 2-0 down this quick, though. We can't do that. Honestly, we might, though, because they're just chilling. That's a finesse shot. Okay, what a goal. We are 2-0 down in the first 25 minutes. It wasn't even hit that well. It's just a great shot. Like, it had a placement over power, but... That thing's in the corner. I mean, first for a second, we're looking at the team that is in second, not first right now. Uh, maybe the 3 4 2 one is not working because, oh man, defensively, we are so caught out every single time. I'm not sure if it's uh, if it's working. Vega gives that to Haps. Haps, okay, cut inside a little bit. Cut inside, just find the pass, find it, and then score the goal. Chiquinho, lay it off to Cuisance, Cuisance, lay it back, lay it back to someone. Oh, that's a great ball. Oh, he just grabbed it through Buzio, though. I wanted to square it once again. Buzio, lay it off to Haps. Haps, can you score this, please? Haps, you are going to score it. Okay, I thought he put it wide. Okay, we're right back in this. 2-1. See, this is 3 4 2 one actually working a little bit here offensively. We're so wide with the, the two fullbacks, kind of wingbacks. All right, we are right back in this game now. Okay, Shedeshev just steals that. Vega, time to perfection. Vega, dink it. Oh, he took so long, and that's going to be cleared. That could have been a good chance. Haps lays it off to Fiorellino. Get that to Chiquinho. Chiquinho, hold it up. Okay, man. These low-rated players, they received the ball, and they got they like got so much momentum to them. If we can sort out our defense, I feel like we would not be too badly set up in this game. Buffon, what another good save. I feel like the 3-4-2-1, though, probably not going to use this uh, that often, especially if this continues the way this is going. I feel like they're getting a lot of chances very easily. I feel like our defense is too spread out. The wingbacks aren't doing enough, probably because they are, they are wingbacks in this formation. So, not going to stop us running at you like psychos. Look at us. Look at us. Oh, we should have stole that. Oh, man. And that's gonna be that's gonna be a good block and then Buffon what a what a save bro Buffon is insane that one goal was a mistake I think but other than that he's way he's made way more insane saves than mistakes which is what you want from your keeper all right Haps dink to Chiquinho we got space here he needs a little bit of support though can he play this long ball you know what what a ball by Chiquinho and Cuisance gets to it but he's in a headed unfortunately we got 20 minutes uh Buzio out to Haps had a very good game cross that to Chiquinho gets to it Okay, the headers, boys. Can we get them in the corners, not strength keeper? We're having a very good spell. Just can we find the equalizer? Oh, Shedeshev. Okay, that was that was very bad. Oh, this might be game. And that's going to be game. That is so unfortunate. That little bounce off our defender. Okay, I don't think we were good enough to win this game. They were be they're probably the better team. So, we got subs on to finish the game. But uh, I think 3 4 2 1 definitely did not work that well. We definitely missed uh, Zlatan 2 a lot. Also, by the way, you guys told me it's uh, Job Bellingham, not Joby. That makes me so sad. Joby sounds so cool. But uh, Job it is. Oh, no. Is it before 1? Is it going to be 4 1? I would hope it would not be. But honestly, it might. Oh, it might. It might. It's going to be 4 1. Yeah, we look like the team that's in probably like fifth not first feel like it's gonna be us at the start of the series very uh very inconsistent a good win followed by a very bad loss okay when you guys left a comment and gave me an idea here now we couldn't do this this window because he's out he's out on loan but reviving Deli Ali's career could be interesting for this series I mean he's still only 26 that's pretty young still and at 77 rated you know that's if we get up to Syria 77 is like right in our right in our ballpark of rating we want in the team and he's pretty well-rounded like playing at cam or center mid he's well-rounded I remember like two years ago he was like gonna be one of the best English players in the league and now he's out on loan at Besiktas like what a weird career path he's taken unfortunately I mean it could be like uh that documentary with Jose Mourinho the all or nothing maybe he doesn't work hard enough we don't know but I would not mind bringing him to Venezia I don't think he'd be that expensive either it would probably be a season two signing but I do like that idea a lot but next game is gonna be 3-1 Buzio Chiquinho and Buzio and then SPAL is gonna be 2-0 courtesy of Vega and Poli and Paulo all right two more sims uh Bienevento this one is gonna be uh 1-0 courtesy of Vega I wonder who the top scorer is we'll check that in a second because I'm seeing a lot of goals right now uh, next is Brescia. Is that you say that? That's Pirlo's first team, right? But it's gonna be it's gonna be two two. Uh, Vega scores. Also, Buzio scores again. Okay, next game is Palermo. I want to try using the uh, different kits because we keep using that black kit. Although it's very nice, and their kits are so clean. That white kit is so so clean. I feel like the gold one might be clashing a little bit too much. Let's use the white for this one. Just let's use that. But facing Palermo away from home, and uh, the four four two is back, and also Zlatan is back. I forgot to check the top scores. Okay, we'll check it after this game. But I'm liking I'm liking using this team right now. I'm really liking it. Okay, Haps is actually like a very very good left back. I'm finding that out slowly. Okay, Vega did so well there. Zlatan, get it back to Vega. Okay, Zlatan just got like fouled there, I think. I was meant for Vega, but we're going to go out though. And Zampano is going to cross it in to Vega. That was almost a good idea. 
Okay, this looks dangerous, and they are going to score the first goal of the game. I feel like Katsuroni needs to step up more. I was cool. I was controlling Denier trying to block the left side, but just that defense, a little flat-footed here. Like, we need to uh, look at Katsuroni. He need to be more aggressive there. All right, 1-0 to uh, Palermo. Vega dinged to Zlatan, and Zlatan get it back to Vega. Vega, okay, that's a beautiful goal, and this is 1-1. Vega and Zlatan combining. This was beautiful. Like, we, we play 4-4-2. You, you dream about your strikers combining just like that. All right, good response after conceding that very uh very weak goal all right chiquinho time it is latin that is almost good oh man the pass was like not the quite the best angle to latin though okay i forgot one of you guys asked uh asked for the tactics we use i basically play everything balanced and uh press after possession loss but everything other than that is pretty much balanced you like balanced attack balanced uh like width and depth usually just works the best for career mode especially on ultimate these sliders i feel like that's the one way i figured out how we can uh compete with these teams even on these sliders so that is what we use and we're about to concede even though i'm trying to complement my own tactics resons gets that to zlatan get that to vega very good we got chiquinho or vega go to chiquinho what a good ball chiquinho honestly not a bad shot considering the angle there corner whipped in are we gonna score from a corner man our corners look good we just can't get anything from it Get it to Cuisance. That's a good ball. Cuisance, low driven shot into the bodies, and it's going to be a goal kick. All right, second half. Honestly, I like the response after conceding, but I feel like uh, this might be a pretty close game if it continues. Definitely the 4 4 2 feels better than the 3 4 2 1. Is it better than the 4 2 3 1? I don't know. I'm saying a lot of numbers. Good ball to Chiquinho from Zlatan. What do we got? Maybe a cross. He's going to cut inside, maybe. Lay it off to Zlatan Ibrahimovic. He's going to shoot that. Zlatan. Oh, man. He scored one like that, I believe, in the first episode. He could have got another. That was. Uh, not a bad effort. All right, we're going to go short with this corner to Chiquinho. Going to play it back to Vega. Vega whipped this one in. Goes to Fiorellino. That was such a good move. The header just a little bit off. Buzio gets that to Zlatan. I feel like we've been playing better in the second half, though. Zlatan. Chiquinho. First time cross to Vega. What a ball. Oh, man. That was going to be such a good move again. All right, Poyan Paolo is coming on for Fiorellino. We're going pretty attacking here. Uh, Vega moved out wide, and then Cuisance moved into the middle with uh, Buzio. Okay, this looks like a pretty good chance. If we can find the pass, I don't see it though. Get it back to Vega. Vega's gonna shoot that. Vega shoots. Okay, we do find the pass and it's 2-1. Hey, Vega, I mean, his first episode, he wasn't like amazing. This episode is coming alive though. Obviously one of our best players in the team and only 24 years old, he's gonna be a big part of the team for years to come. But that might be a clutch a little change because we score immediately we're up 2-1. Although this looks like a pretty decent move. Okay, block the pass, Jason. Jason, Jason, good defending, but unfortunately goes back and then Buffon what a save all right Iqbal for Cuisance and then uh I think Janssen is on for Chiquinho Caps gets that to Iqbal Iqbal get on a whoa Iqbal what a, I didn't expect that much power on that pass that was insane oh let me lose it okay they got 20 seconds we just gave them a chance to tie the game up oh no Floriano denier all oh, denier what a challenge he had a very shaky first episode but since that he has been so good wasn't the most convincing but 2-1 that is another another strong win i would say okay so after those games 10 wins one drawn two losses we sit up top five points ahead of second i would say it's a, it's a bit better than expected although in sim games our team has just been so good so next episode will probably enter the january transfer window i think so let me know what you guys think about deli alley i feel like he's a player like i don't think i've signed it in forever for career mode and like reviving his career could be a future club captain of this team i feel like it sounds like a very interesting storyline. Let me know what you guys uh, think about it. Also, by the way, stats. Uh, Vega's got 7-4, and four, Chiquinho 5-2, and two, Buzio 4-2, and two, Zlatan only 4-10. and 10. I mean, 41 years old. He's got a 7.7, 7.1 uh, 7 average match rating. He's still been so good. But Vega's looking like maybe the, the main man of the team. And then even Haps with 5 assists from left back, that's really good. Okay, Venezia road to glory. Now, we've identified players that we want to go after in January to try and sign in this episode. But there's one small issue here. We only have 5 million to work with. And also, we have to make the Chiquinho deal permanent which he's like three million so we really only have like two million to work with it's gonna make things a bit difficult we're gonna try and figure it out though um siri b after a rough start we're now sitting in first though so it's been a great recovery pirlo is leading this team back to syria i mean that's the way it looks as of now could always change but you guys have shown an insane amount of support on this series as long as you guys keep that support up this series will obviously continue so drop a like if you guys want to see more and of course hit that sub button down below if you have not i believe now we're chasing out 14,000 subs already which is absolutely nuts Okay, first comment, please make the Academy a big part of the series. Yeah, I really want it to be a big part of the series. The only issue or reason why it hasn't because of the money situation. We only had two scouts and they're not very good, so they haven't really brought back that much. We did buy a third scout though, Christian Alfonsi, and we sent him to Portugal for three months. Yeah, definitely I'm hoping the budget goes up where we could buy better scouts because Academy, I want this to be a big part of the series. Like I said, I want to build something that rivals Barcelona's La Masia. Next one, you could sign Eduardo Bove. Is it Bove? I don't know, but he's a very talented Italian center mid. Could it be the next uh, De Rossi at Venezia? Yeah, I honestly have no clue who he 
is. We're going to scout him, and I think we could loan him in. I think he's loan listed, so we uh, we do have a lot of midfielders, so he has to be pretty good for us to loan him in. We'll, we'll see, though. And last one, we need a young Italian that can stay with the club through the whole series. Yeah, once again, our youth scout hasn't brought back much, so I'm hoping he brings back something soon, because I would love a homegrown talent type player to stay with us for a long time. Just haven't quite found him just yet. But okay, we're currently in November, and we're going to get all the way to January in this episode. We got a lot of games to, uh, to get through, of course. Now, first thing, I want to make this uh, Chiquinho deal permanent just to get out of the way. We got five million. I think the deal is worth uh, three point. I forgot what it was actually. Cause I mean, he has what five goals in 13 games. He's been so good. I want to make sure he stays. So 2.8 million. We're going to pay this and get out of the way. Cause it's a very important deal to get done. The man is going to be a very big part of this team in the future. So I'm a little bit worried about the wages though. Now, now that I think about it, cause we're only paying half of that. Now, is he going to accept a wage cut? I'm hoping he does. Okay. 27. He would be the highest earner at the club, but not by too much where I think we could do this. Oh man. It's going to cost a lot. We got to do it though. He's so good for us. 24k per week. He is going to accept that. Okay. Chiquinho signed up on a permanent deal. Big deal to get done this season and it's done. Okay. So the hopes of raising transfer funds, we have transfer listed four players. We have Shedeshev. I mean, he's 31. He probably could bring us a lot of money we could use. And I don't think he's been like amazing. And then don't know, don't know how to say his name, but probably hasn't played that much. So we could probably let him go for 2 million. And then Ullman, we have a, a younger left back as a backup instead. So might sell him. And then also Candela might sell him too. Because honestly, we could use that money a lot. Okay. Burnley want Ullman for 3.4 because Haps is really good. And then we have a younger, I think he's 23, who's a better backup, I think, for the future. So 3.3. Burnley, please accept that they do. That's going to be very useful in January. Okay, now that center mid guy, uh, we can get 2.5 for him. I am Mr. Krabs. I'm getting every last penny. 2.5, they're going to accept that. Okay, um, next game is going to be uh, body and everyone's gone on their national duty. So uh, CPU picked the team for me and it's going to be a 3 one win. Cuisans, Haps, and Haps. Bro, Haps is a very underrated player right now. All right, Tanner Tessman loaned out to Rapid VN for six months. We'll see if he comes back because he hasn't really played much. And we do have plans for a CDM in January, I hope. But 3.3 of the budget. Ah, uh, that's very useful for a player that wasn't even starting. Now, so when you guys said to not sell Capitelli or no, not to sell uh, Cazzaroni and also Madolo to not sell them. Now, Madolo has a, submitted a transfer request, but I think we can give him a new contract. I guess we can. And he, okay, we got to get him uh, maybe one more year on it. I mean, hey, if they're club legends, I won't sell them. We will let them retire at the club, although I can't promise they're going to play that much. Can we save a few bucks here, though, just a little bit. I'll give him two grand. Two grand a week, and he accepts it. What a club legend taking a pay cut. Doing it for the squad. Uh, Players are back next game. 2-1, courtesy of Vega and Zlatan Ibrahimovic. Okay, also that center mid guy sold too. Because we got what? We got uh, Joe Bellingham. We got Iqbal. So we're good for... We're good in the midfield. And the next game is going to be 4-0. Chiquinho, Poyampalo, Poyampalo, and Chiquinho. Bro, we're kind of tearing it up in uh, Serie B right now. Look at that. Buffon, clean sheet leader in 16 games. This man's like 49 years old. It's beautiful. Okay, a lot of scouting reports. I like to see it. But first, we play Parma, which could be a very big game. So thankfully, everyone's present at the team. And uh, Venezia versus Padma. All right, come on, win here, and it, it will solidify us as the team to beat in this league. Pirlo, Zlatan are leading this team to first, hopefully leading him towards automatic promotion. So this will be a very big game to further solidify that. Although, not a good start. Okay, that could have been a goal easily. Thankfully, it's not, though. Okay, Cuisance, that is beautiful dribbling through to Alexis Vega. Okay, Zlatan, you're making the worst run I've ever seen of all time. Vega cuts inside Vega. Vega laid off two. Cuisance, that's going to be goal number one. Beautiful movement. Very, very solid first goal of the game. We are the team to beat in this league. Vega assist. Cuisance goal. 1 0. Laton through to Vega. Okay, that could have been a very good move. Unfortunately, it's not. Chiquinho, win that ball. This is your home now. This is your fresh off a new deal. This is your home. That's a good first touch. Okay, Chiquinho. Get it to Cuisance. Through to Zlatan Ibrahimovic. Got a score. Zlatan is in a score. All Parma in the mud. 2-0 to Venezia. It's just perfect from us to start this game. This has been nice. Okay, chance for Parma. Okay, Cazzaroni. What a clearance that is. And then Cuisant, what a steal. Cuzio, long ball to Chiquinho. Okay, that's a very... Okay, that's actually, that's actually going to get to him. That's beautiful. Oh, Chiquinho wins it. Chiquinho. Get it to Zlatan. Zlatan, low driven shot. It's gonna be a gonna be a corner. Hey, we are looking pretty good to start this game though. That's that's Zlatan's. It's his, but it's gonna be right at the keeper though. Zlatan to Alexis Vega. Vega, we got a long shot here from Vega. Vega long shot. Okay, that keeper was at a full stretch there. Bro, Vega is a beast. He is so deserving of that number seven shirt for us. I like it. Uh, okay, well that was a good chance. Cuisants, get it out. We're shooting this Buzio power shot. Okay, that's a little bit disappointing. Zlatan, also disappointing, is going to be tackled there. And that's uh, that's the first half. Hey, so far, so good, though. Zlatan through to Chiquinho. Chiquinho. Oh, that's horrible defending. And Chiquinho's going to finish it. Fresh off a new deal. Okay, Parma are getting uh, kind of getting slapped here. And uh, I am all here for it, though. 7-2 opening day loss. Pirlo has done 
magic here at Venezia. Gets yeah, it to Buzio. Buzio shot. Okay, that's going to be deflected. Oh, no. Did I just jinx by saying that? Did I just jinx it? Okay, Haps. He just went around him. He went through him. He didn't go around him. He went through him. Buffon, though. What a save. Get the ball out, please. Get it out. Okay, Zampano. Uh, it's good enough defending, you know? Chiquinho, keep that in. Chiquinho. Chiquinho. Uh, didn't keep it in. Platon to Alexis Vega. He's got the good first touch, Vega. Vega, gotta finish that, Vega. Gotta finish that. What a finish. That is 4-0. Hey, this game, this game's done. What a strong win that is. Yeah, I am extremely encouraged by that win. Okay, next game, 3-0. Vega, Vega, and Chiquinho. We are flying right now. Okay, Copa Italia, can we not get knocked out, please? This game is gonna be 2-1. Bellingham scores twice. Joby Bellingham, Job. I still like Joby better, but Joe Bellingham. What a game for the youngster. Okay, three more games. Uh, this one is gonna be 2-0, Vega, and Buzio. And then this one's gonna be 2-0, uh, Vega, and Poyam. Paulo and Parma again and 2-0. and Poyam, Paulo and Chiquinho. Okay, the team we have built here, we started to build, it might be too good for Serie B because we are going to be a whopping what? 15 points above second place. I did not expect this after a 7-2 opening day loss. Okay, so if we're looking at strengthening the squad, we got what? We got 2 million to work with. Now I feel like right back and also CDM are the two issues, the two problem spots because Zampano is decent, but his backup is only what? 62 rated? We could use a better right back. And also same thing with CDM. Now, now for for a CDM, I think there's not a player I want more than Romeo Lavia from Southampton. He's only 64 rated, but we know he's got potential. I mean, it would be a project being only 64 rated, getting him to all the way to a starting CDM. But for this team, it would be amazing. And we maybe could afford it. I mean, hey, we could say first uh, half of the season at Southampton hasn't been great for him. I mean, he is only 64 rated in the Prem. That's pretty low. So what if we swoop in and try to get him? Although, man, it's going to be close. I'm not sure we have the money for this. Can we offer someone in a swap deal, maybe? Now, there's one player I'm not using, uh, Novakovic. I'm not using at all. So what if we just did a swap deal, I feel like Southampton could probably use a striker now. What would they say to that? Okay, they want uh, Pedini. I mean, that's another player that hasn't even played at all. This might be a smart deal, actually, you know? 46K, that's it. Let's let's accept that and let's look at Pedini. So he is 65 rated, 24 years old. His value is 1.5. I mean, I don't think he's played once. He doesn't look amazing to me. You know what? I think we might do it. They get a young winger and we get a CDM, which we need a CDM. And oh man, that potential on Lavia, he could be the future CDM starter of this team. I mean, to be fair, we might actually like start him now. Okay, I was worried about the wages, but he's only on 2.9, so it's perfect. Okay, this got this is one a lot smoother than I thought it would. We don't have to pay anything. Basically, just a straight swap. I love it. Um, I'll give him 2.9. Same thing he has at Southampton. That sounds perfect to me, right? Maybe a little bit. I mean, he should accept that. He should not, he should not walk away from this. 2.9. Please, Lavia, please accept it. He does. We have signed Romeo Lavia from Southampton, formerly a Man City. Could be a future star in this team. Okay, Aaron Connolly has been recalled. We didn't really play much, though. I'm not worried about that. But Lavia has arrived. We didn't get a cutscene, though. I was waiting for the cutscene for him. We never got one. But okay, Lavia is here. Man, that's, a, that's such a good signing. Um, For now, let's give him, like, the number... Let's do... What should we give him? Let's do a 24 for Lavia to start. And I think uh, with his potential, I think we have to start him. Because Fiorellino is 26. I feel like he could be a good backup. This man, Romeo, could be amazing. So honestly, he might start. Now, for right back, I was thinking about three guys but I, we have not we don't have the money to sign any of them we could loan in one of them though Maiko Mario he's playing at Anderlecht he's from Panama we could loan him in which could be clutch because I think he's better than Zampano I mean could up our chances getting promoted so I feel like it might be worth it it depends on how much we have to pay of his wages though yeah this needs to be 50 50 buddy I'll pay 9,000 a week for a better right back I'll do that uh 70 30 let's do 60 40 and I'll accept that bud they do accept it. Beautiful. I mean, if he joins us on loan, that's kind of a clutch little signing. He's only 26. Okay, it looks like someone has said yes to the loan move. So, Medio, loaned in. Hey, we're going for this Serie B title. We're not going for the playoffs. We're going for the league title. And I think Michael Medio, uh, I think he'll help us a lot. Yeah, he's pretty much better than Zampano in every category. So, he's going to start. Should up our chances at least a little bit. Um, Eduardo Bove is 6 and overall at 20 years old. I mean, he looks pretty well-rounded. We could loan him in, but I feel like we already have a lot of midfielders. So, we might wait on that. He's got 76 finishing. Okay, that's kind of, he's kind of got weird stats. Like good stand tackle and good finishing. That is a that is an interesting one. But Copa Italia, we're gonna get Lavia and also Murillo's debut for Venezia. I mean, Premier League Serie B is definitely a step down for Lavia, but he's got the potential to join a very promising uh, young team and be a cornerstone right in the midfield. So we'll see how he does. Also, I did see you guys uh, really like the idea of us signing Deli Ali. He's on loan this season, so it'll have to be a season two signing. I feel like if, if we get to Serie A, what a tackle by uh, Denier. If we get to Serie A, then Deli Ali, that would be a really good signing, I think. Okay, Chiquinho, he's in. Oh, he's got the pace. Bro, we just too good for Serie B. We might just be too good. Okay. Okay. Right when I say that, whoa, what just happened there? What an awkward save. I feel like the jump from Serie A to Serie B whenever we're gonna, whenever we make it, it's going to be drastic and I feel like we're going to struggle. But right now, Serie B, it's not giving us too many issues. Although, as I'm saying that, we concede. It always happens as I'm talking about stuff like that. It always happens. 1-0 to uh, Cosenza. All right, Lavia. Let's see what we can do. Lavia. 
Get it out to Chiquinho. Chiquinho, wait for Zlatan. Cross it in, it goes to Vega instead. Not gonna work. Hey, I would love to win the Copa Italia, so I would not, I don't want to get knocked out here. Although I think our chances of winning it are pretty slim. Okay, this team's actually looking pretty good. Buzio defending though, gets it out. Job gets it to Lavia. Lavia has got a shot on him. Lavia shoots and it's gonna be on target, but that had zero power on it. Okay, this is a good move. Oh, why did Denier step up there? He could have stayed in front of him, but he decided to step up for some reason. Okay, we're 2 0 down here. Look at Denier. He has a chance to get in front of him, but he steps up right there. Okay, what kind of defending is that? Okay, we're in danger of being knocked out of the Copa Italia, and that's halftime. All right, Joby gets it to Zlatan. Zlatan's in a turn. Low driven shot. It's going to be saved by... No, he was offside. Bro, how was, how was Zlatan offside there? Okay, Lavia's got a yellow. I think he went for a pretty rash challenge. So, I mean, don't get sent off on your debut. That'd be not good. But we're kind of struggling here. I did not expect to struggle. Okay, oh no. Lavia, no. No. Okay, it's foul on him. Okay, he's fine. I believe he's fine. He's gonna get up. I thought he just got, uh, oh, he got sent off with that. Oh, they're down to 10 minutes. Okay, that gives us a chance here. Bellingham gets it to Buzio. That's 2-1. We have a chance. Bellingham assist. Buzio goal. We got 30 minutes. We are right back in this. All right, we're gonna do Janssen for, uh, Chiquinho. Lavia, good steal. Like to see that. All right, 15 minutes to tie this game up. Latan, what a ball to Alexis Vega. Vega, we're going to sweat this. No, we're not. We're going to get ourselves. I should have sweat it, bro. The pass was so far away, though. In to Zlatan. Goes to Vega. Vega shoots. Oh, it's going to be blocked. Bellingham gets it to Janssen. Back into Zlatan. Got to score that. Oh, we do score it. This is 2-2. Two -two. Comeback is complete. That was a very, uh, very unorganized attack, but... All right, we're going to extra time or penalties or what in the Copa Italia? I have no idea. I mean, we still got eight minutes, though. Hey, we can get a winner right now. I'm feeling it. We got momentum. I'm feeling it. Zlatan, play it through to Janssen. Okay, we got a little bit of space here. Janssen into Bellingham. Bellingham, get it to Zlatan. Oh, it was almost a good pass. Okay, is it penalties or extra time? Okay, it is extra time in the Copa Italia. I don't even know what round it is. Hopefully not our last round. Mario, strong challenge on your debut. I like to see it. Yeah, Lavio, Mario had much better, stronger, uh, much better, stronger. What am I even saying? Stronger second half than the first. Why is no one in the box for that cross? People should be sprinting to the box for that. Okay, uh, first half of extra time, literally nothing happened. Already into the second half. We got 15 more minutes. Otherwise, this is going to a penalty shootout. I think everyone's legs are just dead. Bellingham, oh man, and Zlatan was so free there again. Oh, Vega, that's a great steal. We got numbers. Buzio. Play it through to Vega, I think. Vega, get it out to Vega. Zlatan, Zlatan, far post cross. It's going to go all the way to Janssen. Oh, that could have been so much better. That was actually so bad. That should have been executed so much better. Oh, that should be game. This should be a win, but we're going to penalties. We just messed that up. Okay, first penalty. Uh, Buffon, I am going to need you. And first pen, he makes a save. Uh, Zlatan Ibrahimovic, top left. Zlatan. Oh, you're not saving that, bud. Second penalty is going to be left. Oh, Buffon. He is so good. All right, Lavia, your debut. Can you put in your penalty? Yes, he can. It's a decent penalty. Buffon is going to end. Okay, we just got destroyed. Um, Vega, you're scoring this. We are going to go bottom right. Vega, bottom right. Beautiful. Okay, one more save, and this is over. Come on, Buffon. I believe in you. Everyone in this stadium believes in you right now. Right. Oh, that's so... Oh, what is that penalty? Buffon is so good in the shootout. He's running like he's 26 years old. Hey, be careful. He's 40. Be careful. He's going to be out for the season. Oh, man, what a comeback and what a win. That is beautiful. Okay, we're not eliminated in the Copa Italia yet. Uh, very strong debuts from Mario and also Lavia, even though the first half was shaky. Um, Copa Italia, we are into now what? Are we in the quarterfinals? I think it might be the quarterfinals. I don't even know. Why is there like no big teams though in this in this round? Maybe the big teams join us in the next round. I'm not sure. Probably something like that. But Vega, Chiquinho, and Zlatan are leading the team. And I think Lavia and Mario are good signings. Now we still have like what? Six million to spend actually, I think. Yeah, six million. So let me know if we should sign, we should sign anyone else. But we got to keep in mind that they got to be pretty cheap. Because next episode will finish the January transfer window. I mean, if I had to say a position I think we need, maybe a backup winger for the bench. Maybe we sell Shedeshev and bring in a younger winger. Maybe. I don't know. Okay, Venezia sit top of Serie B with a 15-point lead. This man Pirlo has done a magical job of coaching this team. And now automatic promotion seems like a very real possibility this season. Right back up to Serie A. But you can always get better. And we got six million in the budget to get better. We might look to spend that as we finish the January transfer window in this episode. Pirlo is not trying to mess around here. If you're enjoying the series, you want to see more of it, then drop this video a like. And I think now we're creeping up on 15,000 subs on this channel. So of course, that sub button down below if you have not. Okay, first comment. The series is fire. And then basically you start making the episodes a bit longer. Yeah, I see in the comments 
to let you guys want longer episodes. Now, this one's gonna be a little bit short, but I'm gonna try to make the next few uh, a bit longer. We're gonna try to aim for like 20, 25 minutes for each episode. Sometimes a bit shorter, sometimes a bit longer. But I'm hoping this one's gonna be the last short one for a while because I'm enjoying the series so much as well. The next one, I'd love to see some young MLS talent join the team. Could even be Slonina. Yeah, the young American goalkeeper that just went to Chelsea. I mean, Buffon's only here temporarily. Like season two, Buffon's probably gone. Same with Zlatan. So we are gonna be in the market for a young keeper and Slonina, it'd be a good option. Another MLS talent that will be interesting you guys mentioned was uh, Cade Cowell. I mean, he would be good as well. And that's also my local uh, football team too, by the way. And last one, I really love to see Carney Chukomeka from Chelsea. Yeah, he's one I thought about, but I feel like he just went to Chelsea. So I kind of feel like it might be too unrealistic. Like maybe a loan move, although we do have a lot of midfielders. So if not now, maybe down the line, Chukomeka, definitely a target that will be really good in this team. So, so far in January, we brought in Lavia from Southampton, who I'm hoping is going to be so good for us. Although it's a very uh, raw prospect as of now. And then we loaned in uh, Michael Murillo from Anderlecht to be just a little bit better of a right back than Zampano for the rest of the season. And like I said, six million more. Like, what do we think this team needs the most? I feel like a center back would be great. That is higher rated than Ketsaroni. Other than that, I feel like I'm liking the team the way it looks. Anything else would just be bonus. So we're scouting for more players you guys suggested. So we're going to wait those scouting reports to come in. There's some that are very, very interesting. But next name is SPAL. They are like bottom of the table pretty much. So let's throw in uh, Poy and Paulo and let's sim this. First game episode is going to be a 3 no win courtesy Vega, Vega, and Vega hat trick. Okay, we got to talk about this. Vega, I think he's becoming too good for us almost. Like we got him as a free agent. It felt a little bit, a little bit cheap. But he is playing so good that I think season two, we might have to sell him. He would bring in a very large amount of cash. So if he keeps playing this well, I think uh, Vega might have to move to a better team in season two. I mean, that's the realistic thing to do. Okay, offer for Novakovic. Now, I haven't really used him. He's 26 years old. I feel like he doesn't have a future in this team, so we might sell him. I got to get a good amount, though. Like 2.5. Give me 2.5 and you can have him. Okay, maybe we could have got more. It's fine. It's fine. Okay, next game is against uh, uh, Pisa. We're simming this because the next game is in the Italian Cup. And it's a big one. Chiquinho wins us this game, though, 1-0. The next game is the biggest test of the series so far. Okay, but first, uh, I think Novakovic has left the club. I mean, hardly knew yet, to be honest. But our next game, it is against. It's going to be against Roma. Like, ooh, this is uh, this is a very big test right here. What if you guys said use the 3 4 2 one, which, I mean, we could mirror them exactly, their formation. You know what? Let's do it. Although, last time we used it, we got slapped. I'm thinking this time it be, might be better. Um, Let's throw Mario out wide. Let's go Fortolino for Cuisance, and then let's throw Dardai in the, in the back line. Actually, let's do Lava. We got to do Lavia. We're putting faith in the young man. It is Roma versus Venezia. This could go horribly bad. There he is, Alexis Vega. He's on everyone's radar. He's too good. He's about to enter his prime, like 26 years old. I really don't think we're going to be able to hold on to him. I think we're going to have to sell him. But for now, he's going to try and help us advance in the Italian Cup against Roma. We are the under underdogs here. What kind of start is that? Hey, okay, stole it back. Stole it back. We're good. Okay, Zlatan was so free there, but Vega can't get it through. Okay, boys, boys. Defense, 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 defense. Where are we at? Where are we at? Why is that so easy? Oh, that's not a good start. That was incredibly just weak. They're just literally jogging into our defensive line. Oh, man. Okay, great start. 1-0 down. Now, we are playing on the same sliders we used for the Liverpool series, and if I struggle with that team, I'm definitely going to struggle with this team. I mean, that's realistic, though. It's pretty much what should happen for the most part. Okay. Zaniolo, can you stop? Thank you. Oh, Dardai, what a challenge. All right, Zlatan. Zlatan, get that ball out of your feet quicker. I know you're 41. You're not that slow, though. Oh, no. Oh, no. De Denier. Denier, please. Denier. Great challenge. Zlatan is Chiquinho on side. I think Chiquinho. Oh, he's offside. That must have been so close. Bro, our defense looks horrendous right now. Oh, that could be a pen. Okay, instead, he's going to skip around him. And then Buzio can't. Okay. 3 4 2 1. It's not it right now. It's not it. We are going back to the 4 2 3 1. It's, it's not working. Well, that was quick. Uh, Pirlo is making a very tactical decision here to try and save this game now. 20 minutes. Already a change. Zlatan. Oh, through to Vega. Already. Already a chance. Vega scores and it's 2 1. Okay. Pirlo masterclass. That change. 2 1. Back in this. Ball is still spinning. Okay, let's let's fully get back in this game now. All right, Buzio. Man, for some reason, we look so much better with the 4 2 3 1. I'm not sure why. Buzio into Zlatan. There's the strength from Zlatan. Zlatan, slide it back to someone. Goes to Buzio. Buzio's gonna shoot. Oh, he scuffed it a little bit. Hey, we're looking better though. Positive, positive moves have been made. Oh my, if Zlatan wasn't 70 years old, he could have won that. Okay, Zlatan again to Vega. Vega, can we head that to someone? That's a good clearance. Zlatan gets that to Buzio. Buzio. Chiquinho into Cuisance. Okay, find the pass. Lavia, get it out wide to Murillo. Murillo, cross. Whoa, that's a great cross. Whoa, that's great. Vega steals it. Vega, shot. 
This game is 2-2. What a turnaround. Vega has two goals. He's becoming more popular now. Now that he's scoring against Roma. We're screwed. We, we're not going to be able to keep him. But short term, we are going to enjoy it. Bro, Vega worked so hard for that. And then it's such a good finish too. Bro, he's a beast. 42 minutes. This game has been tied up. What a turnaround. Yeah, that flying bird formation, that thing ain't it. If we do three at the back, it's got to be 3-5-2. That's the only one that I've used that works actually this game. Come on, keep it 2-2 before half time. Keep it at 2-2. Mario, great challenge. Okay, 2-2. What a turnaround. We have a chance to beat Roma here. No, Zaniolo, Zaniolo, please no, please no. Oh, Buffon, you got to save that. Make a save. Bro, he just gets right by us and scores. This is 3-2. Oh, man. Okay, this, uh, we need to get back in this now. Tied up again. Okay, Zlatan has got taken out. Send him off. Send him off. That's Zlatan. You don't do that. Send him off. It is going to be a calm little yellow. Okay, we're not, we're not shooting this, I don't think. The problem is, that guy's, look at, he's going to steal it if I play it to a teammate. It's so annoying. I'm not even sure what I just did. Oh, Denier, please. Oh, man, Denier made me so nervous there. And it's just panic passing out the back shot. Oh, Buffon is asleep. He is absolutely asleep today. He's not making any save. We brought it all the way back to make it 2-2. Now it's 4-2. We got to make the same exact comeback that we just made. Come on, boys. I had so much confidence after making it 2-2. Uh, it's just it's just gone now. Oh, no. Not, not like this. Oh, 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 I thought that went in. I really thought that went in. I mean, Pirlo versus Mourinho. Mourinho has gotten the better of Pirlo here, but... I mean, he should. In to Balotti. Okay, Buffon. Nice to see you. He's here. He made a save. Wilfred Zaha is on. And that's going to be cleared by Lavia. Okay, Lavia's going to win that. That's what I like to see. Into Vega. Get that to Cuisance. Vega's going to run. Zlatan up to Vega. Oh, man. That was almost a good move. We got 10 minutes, boys. This ain't looking too good. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, it's going to be... Oh, it's... Oh, he actually misses it. Okay. Wait, that was a save? Okay, Buffon actually saved that. I didn't even notice. Uh, subs are on. We got six minutes, though. We're down two goals. Once again, it's it's not looking too hot here. Oh, man. Okay, can we make it... Oh, it's going to be five. Nope. Okay, Buffon has decided to come alive now when the game's already over. The man woke up from his nap. Zlatan, good body. Janssen. Janssen. Can we find Cuisant? He makes a run. Cuisant. You're making the worst run I've ever seen in my life. Janssen, shoot that. Janssen, decent shot, but... Man, the, the dream comeback is not going to be on. At least we gave the fans something to celebrate, making it 2-2. Like, I imagine the Venezia fans are going crazy during that time, but... Second half, Zaniolo hat-trick, uh, Roma showed who they are, which is a much better team than us. So, Coppa Italia dream is over. Okay, next game is going to be 3-1. Denier, Buzio, and Lavia score. All right, scouting reports are back. Let's decide on what to do here. So, I would like a center back, but I feel like just pretty much anything would help, honestly. Like, if there's a deal that makes sense, no matter what position, I think we should go after it. So, I mean, center backs... I feel like uh, most of the players are maybe a little bit out of our price range that would make us actually better. Like Robinson's too expensive. Uh, Soleil a little bit too expensive. Anyone above like 74 is going to be too expensive right now. What if you guys say that Antonio Silva was really good? I mean, he does have the stats. He looks pretty good. What if we did a loan deal for him? Can we do that? Um, We can. What if we did a short-term loan with a buy option maybe? You know what? Let's, let's try it. See if, he, see if he says yes. Because if we sell Vega next season, we'll have the money to sign a player like him. So maybe we don't even need a buy option because I don't think we're actually going to be able to afford it. I mean, we'll put it in there just to, just to be safe. So short-term loan loan for Antonio Silva. Um, wages shouldn't be a problem. Um, 3.5 million. Okay, that's that's not that much, actually. 3.5. I'll just accept that, I think. I think it's more likely if he's actually good and want to buy him, we buy him in season two after we sell Vega. But hey, that buy clause is there to be there. Now he has to accept the move now. So that'd be a good center back to bring in. Now we signed a CDM in Lavia, so we're not looking for a CDM. It's just if there's a deal here that makes sense for someone else, we will we will entertain it. I don't want to take away anyone's game time too, though. So we got to be uh smart here. Hey, season two, we're going to try to bring in Deli Alley, though, and revive that man's career because he needs it. Now, we could approach El Shirawe on a pre-contract for next season two, which I mean, another failed kind of wonder kid. I mean, failed. I guess that opinion is subjective, but for our level, he would be pretty good and you could replace Vega maybe. And apparently we can get him for only 9.4 to 13. You know what? We might actually try and do this because that's not a lot in his wages at all. He'd be, of course, crucial. And I mean, look at the hair. How can we not bring this man into Venezia, especially for that cheap free transfer, low wages? Now, what are his wages going to be though? Okay, 35. Didn't say 9 to 13. 35, I'm not sure anymore. We're going to have to come down considerably like to 12. 25 I would maybe do I would maybe do that do you want to join us next season for that for that wage he walks he walks we could always sign him up on a permanent deal okay 41 oh I'll show why we're making this hard I'm going up to 30 Final offer, 30k per week. I don't even want to do that, to be honest, but 30k per week. Okay, El Shirawe, if we bring him in, we could still until the end of the season, but that's just a lot of wages for a player. Like, that's almost double what we gave Lavia, I think. We're going to wait We're gonna wait and think about that one more. Now, a player that I do like, though, um, Jeremy Sarmiento from Brighton. He's Ecuadorian. Now, 68 rated, he's definitely a prospect still, but he does look decent. And for like a Vega replacement, maybe a younger Vega replacement, he wouldn't be bad. And he's also not that expensive. So let's let's see here. I mean, can we offer Shedeshev? I mean, he's 4.5. Is there anyone else we could offer here? I'd rather just uh, sell Shredishev, which we might still do. So we're going to go in for him just straight up cash. Uh, let's offer like 
two let's offer two million two million and they're gonna accept that okay he's right at 2.8 i would say that's uh that's a good deal you know what he looks good so i want to sign him up jeremy sarmiento you are being signed up immediately 10k per week that's so much better 10k per week we have signed up possibly a early replacement for vega if he proves to be good we'll see but hey, i would say that's not a bad pickup for only two million the guy's maybe got potential so hoping he proves to be decent we'll see that is gonna be it's gonna be an a plus rating thank you very much okay antonio silva also loaned in so we can try him out and then if he's good probably next season we'd probably buy him permanently after selling vega with vega money again though not a not a bad pickup okay, it doesn't seem like we're getting any offers for shedashev so that might be it for transfers just uh sarmiento and then silva brought in in january along with of course lavia and Mario. i feel like we've done enough transfers so that's gonna be it i mean top of serie b things are going well right now so um oh yeah very well we now almost have a 20 point lead in first if it stays that way we might finish this season in next episode maybe but first thing we're gonna make sarmiento what, what foot is he is he right footed we're gonna make him a let's make him a left winger he actually looks pretty good his stats look very very well rounded uh what number though definitely not number eight uh let's go let's go 25 for sarmento so first game after the window is gonna be 2-1 uh polyam paulo and buzio score yeah we are making this league our league next one is gonna be it's gonna be okay actually a loss i think that's only like our second loss of the season vegas scored also fiorellino but that's gonna be a 3-2 loss i mean nobody's perfect we got cagliari next we're gonna play the game after this because it's against genoa who's like in second but this game back to winning ways courtesy of zlatan ibrahimovic all right so this game right here is first versus third almost a 20 point gap and uh vegas out the red card i didn't even notice that but he's out so perfect chance for sarmento for us to try him out so we're gonna do that also bellingham starts in the midfield alongside uh, sarmento all right is there gonna be a new young star at venezia in sarmento we're gonna find out number 25 see what the young man can do all right it's latin all the way already to sarmento okay cuisance we got across to cuisance didn't get to him the header not quite though Okay, whoa, Lavia went for the shot there. I'm sorry, what was that? I feel like when we go up to Serie A, it's gonna be it's gonna be very tough. Like season two might be a trying to avoid relegation type season. Especially if we sell Vega, we let go of Buffon too. Uh Zlatan's gonna be gone. It might be a rough one. All right, Sarmiento gets that to Cuisance. Lay it off to Lavia. Lavia power shot from Lavia. Almost a wonder goal. That thing had some uh power on it. Gonna be a corner. Almost decent, but not quite. Okay, head that to someone. It's gonna be uh Kezzaroni. That's probably why you shouldn't shoot. Okay, don't ask me where my defense is because I don't even know. Where is my defense at? Bro, Denier, he had a, like a good episode three, but he has not been good since again. One nil down in the first, actually not first minute, first half. Zlatan finesse shot. Zlatan skims the back of the net. I probably should have gave a chance to Silva to play this game, but okay, again, my defense, Katsaroni and Denier are headless chicken. Two nil down. Bro, we're not gonna survive Serie A playing like this. Like, even though we have a 20-point lead almost, this team is, are, is in third, so they're still a good team. And we are not looking like a good team. We're looking like we miss Vega a lot more than we should. Again, my center backs, what are we doing, boys? What are we doing? Thank you. That's a block. It was a Mario, actually. And that's the first half. All right, can we muster up a comeback like against Roma? I'm, I'm honestly not so sure. All right, Cuisance to Sarmiento. We got a cross to Zlatan. Sarmiento, actually a decent cross to uh, Chiquinho. Not gonna get to him, though. Hey, Lavia, Lavia, that's good ball winning. He just got fouled. How is that not a foul? That makes no sense. Oh, I went for the challenge. Denier, good challenge there. Oh, that was a foul. Okay, they gave them that foul. I'm sick. Quino Cuisance, give and go here. Come on. Quino, you're going to be free there. You're going to be free. Oh, Cuisance, what is that pass? I'm sorry. I put like almost max power on that, I think. I put a lot of power on it. It didn't look like it, though. That's a better ball. Cuisance, I like that. Chiquinho, Chiquinho. Good ball to Zlatan. Zlatan, tough angle, but oh, rebound. Zlatan gets to it. Oh, what a double save. Man, that should have been a goal. That was crazy. Okay, whoa, Denier. Oh, man, he like teleported to that. Cazzaroni, you're not shooting ever again. Slide it. Sarmiento gets it to, oh, Haps. Into Sarmiento. He needs help, though. Get it over to Cuisance. Cuisance, that ball was not the best. Okay, Denier, please. Denier, please. Someone, please. Bro, these two center backs are headless. They just can't make a challenge. Their tackling stats must be just so low or something. I don't know what's wrong. Literally, everyone's been bad. Everyone that's been good so far in this series, everyone has been bad. Okay, Denier, that's going to be a penalty, right? Nope, it's actually a good challenge, but still a 3-0 loss. Absolutely embarrassing. Okay, it'd be nice if I could see a win here. So next game, I don't even know what team this is, but we're winning this. We got to get at least one win in this episode. Come on. Especially for a team that is uh, in first with a 20-point lead. Can we look like it? Okay, we got a free kick. Let's lay it off to Romeo. Romeo, you got a long shot in you i think you do romeo i think you do man his long shots look good okay apparently someone got sent off we got a red card uh i wonder who is it vega again honestly it might be vega it might be wait no sarmento's playing okay buffon what a save okay we're not getting many chances in this game i'm not sure why but okay look at that clearance and that's it we got wait we scored 
When did we score? I did not score a goal. I'm so confused on what happened. Apparently, we won. I don't even know who scored. Can we see? Bro, we got no highlights. Like, who scored? We, we don't even know. Um, Goal was scored by Chiquinho in the 81st minute. Uh, it wasn't by us. And it was Haps who got the red card. He got two yellows. What a weird game. Okay, we're going to this one here. So, sitting in first still. I mean, it's looking like we're going to get promoted pretty easily. But I think in Serie A, we're going to have a tough time. So, next episode, we might finish season one. I think we made some good signings of the future in Lavia and Sarmiento. Because next season, we're going to lose Zlatan, Buffon, and also probably vega i mean our three best players it's gonna be a challenge to try and cope with that we also may have found finally a youth italian player which we'll reveal him in the next episode he looks like it could be like decent decent all right venezia crew mode is back in this episode we try and secure promotion to syria we're gonna finish season one so it is uh zlatan's last episode of the series he's retiring and also probably buffon's last episode too but as these legends leave the club through the youth academy we may have found the next italian legend here our scouts have finally come through so drop a like if that's button down below if you've not as well and let's get into this okay when zlatan retires i think it'd be fitting if you got his regen and then made him the star of the team yeah definitely i mean zlatan is 82 overall so i'm guessing his regen is gonna be pretty good hopefully not too expensive but definitely next season we're gonna try and find him and see if we can sign him up as zlatan retires and becomes a part owner of the team and don't sell vega next season as ivan tony scored 30 goals for brentford and stayed he might become a club legend now i was feeling like vega might be too good for us next season we might have to sell him but a lot of you guys in the comments want us to keep him actually so we're gonna do a vote on my community tab there should be a vote already on tyster plus on whether we should keep vega next season or sell him just a simple yes or no vote that will heavily influence our decision next season whether to keep vega or not so go vote in that poll you control this man's destiny and last one i think you should give more game time to bellingham he has very high potential you make him better than his brother yeah that's definitely the plan bellingham's here permanently so we're gonna try to give him a lot of game time and you guys also like geek ball a lot in the comments as well so because of that i mean it's valued at 1.5 million and currently in the bank we got 5 million so why don't we make his his loan deal permanent i think you guys would would have the thumbs up on that so we are gonna approach to buy geek ball from manchester united now can i get a cut price here tenog i'm begging you we don't have a lot of money okay 1.2 million one percent selling clause thank you tenog i'm gonna try to get him a real face when mods come out so we're gonna try and do that but for now he's been decent him and bellingham been decent so i think i want to sign him up to pair alongside bellingham for the future as our young midfielders of the team so just like that eek ball is signed up to venezia on a permanent deal i would say he's earned it that's gonna be an a plus rating thank you very much so eek ball bellingham i'm trying to get him on the bench every single game get them out of game time and we signed a sarmiento in the last episode from brighton could be pretty good but like i said we found a youth player finally an italian youth player and this guy looks special the name is daniel d'angelo he's 16 years old 61 overall 61 to 77 potential 74 to 94 he looks like it'd be good so of course we're gonna promote him or sign him up i mean okay he looks i think we found the next italian star he is 69 rated at 16 years old so four star scale is four star weak foot for a center back um he's definitely a center back looking at his stats he's got good physical good pace and also good defending and dribbling yeah definitely a center back could probably play cdm if we need him to but like 75 strength 67 jumping is honestly not bad 73 stand tackle like uh 72 ball control daniel d'angelo looks like the next maybe like youth star of venezia maybe star of the whole series because our center back spot is a shaky spot so he could help that and obviously through mods we give him a real face i mean he's got the stash going at 16 he's got the confidence okay i'm excited to actually use him in this episode i'm very excited now okay only showing great potential is this status so i don't think his potential is like insane but obviously if we play him enough his potential could skyrocket which he's gonna be a 70 in in uh, five weeks so we're gonna try him out 16 years old could be a future club captain could be the captain of italy maybe in the future the sky is the limit for daniel d'angelo we're gonna find out how good he is though hey, he's valued at 3.3 million that is a solid find hey look at him i'm desperate to show everybody what i can bring to the team you know what d'angelo next game you are starting he's gonna start in place of Cecconi for this game so d'angelo and uh denier back line we'll see what the kid can do and also every win is another step towards promotion to Serie A. so let's see how we do let's see how d'angelo does on his debut there he is daniel d'angelo Angelo, a debut to remember 16 years old the potential doesn't look great but he does look good i'm like split here come on boys let's get a win start off the episode strongly because not only are we going for promotion we're going for the serie b title as well first trophy of the series all right his latin chiquinho cross to vega okay whoa vega that was a good header wasn't the greatest ball but he did what he could with it all right lavia to cuisance cuisance get it through to latin could be a beautiful start and it's a beautiful start final episode of zlatan's career and he scores the first goal the captain of the team currently it is so fitting okay great start we ended the last episode horribly but that is a good start to this episode zlatan oh that's a classic ibrahimovic goal right there or at least finish all right d'angelo d'angelo what we do here see how the man looks in the back line he's got four players around him to help him and okay first attack i mean he looks solid there let's get his first touch first touch for d'angelo hey he's got a sick name too d'angelo that's such a cool last name bro they can't stop talking about him video 
up to Zlatan, headed to Vega. Not exactly headed it to Vega right there. All right, D'Angelo. Let's see the defending. Let's see the defending. Oh, he makes a tackle. Beautiful defending from D'Angelo. Oh, he's going to run. He's got 74 pace. He's not, he's not slow exactly. Vega. Whoa, D'Angelo is making a run. We've, what kind of crossings do you have? Oh, you know what? You know what? That was not bad. For a center back, that was very good, actually. All right, Zlatan from the stratosphere just broke that dude's ankle. Oh, no. Okay, okay, defense. Oh, defense looked bad there. We tried to press a little bit, and they just found one pass and split us apart. Bro, Denier for being 80 overall, it's not very good, I feel like. And also, I was saying Denier at the start. Someone said it was Denier, and now someone says it's Denier again. I don't know these names. You guys, like, confuse me so much. I feel like he's actually not that good, though. Like, he should be a rock at the back, and he's just not really that. Well, this game was 1-1. Zlatan, good ball to Chiquinho. Chiquinho. Okay, I wanted to get a little touch there to the left and obviously he did not do that. All right, Chiquinho again. We got a cross maybe. He's got like no options though. Uh, Zlatan, get in the box. What are you doing over here? Get in the box, my son. I just called a 41-year-old my son. That's like illegal. Buzio can't even shoot. Okay, that gets through. Buffon. Oh, Buffon. Thank you for making the save. Okay, good save. Oh, what a ball from Lavia to Chiquinho. Chiquinho, around one. Zlatan play back to him. Oh, that was so good. Chiquinho just said it should have ran to the left more. And uh, that's first half. 1-1. One, one. Not terrible. Okay, that's going to be a shot. Okay, D'Angelo did as much as he could there, but Buffon makes the save. Yeah, our defense still looks uh, a bit shaky. It's going to be a transformation for us to ever look like a strong defensive team, I guess. Lavia has got to develop. D'Angelo has to develop. Everyone's got to develop. Okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. How does he just run through like that? Haps, the one good defender in the team, actually. Good clearance. All right, Buzio to Vega. Vega. Cut inside a little bit. Vega. We got a finesse shot from Vega. 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 What was that? It's a little bit too much on it. Hey, he's got that in his locker. Whoa, he just stole that Vega. Hey, you he heard me. He's mad. He's mad. He's in a score. See, Vega. That is a good response to, to angry coaching. The player responds, and he fights for it, and he scores. Gets to it first, and he finishes it. Beautiful. 2-1 to Venezia. All right, Iqbal is on. Fresh off a new contract for Venezia. That was a bit shaky. I don't even know where the ball went there, but we do get it out. All right, D'Angelo. D'Angelo. Okay, whoa. That was a good skill move right there. Now, D'Angelo. What are you going to do here? What are you going to do here? Goes all the way back to Denier. Denier, that's a good tackle. That's why I need to see if my best center back. Zlatan gets that to Cuisance. So we got space. Cuisance, what do we got? We got a cross to Zlatan, I think. No, to Chiquinho. Oh, oh, I thought it was a goal. Oh, man. Great, great pass. Great header. Just a little bit off. All right. Playing Paulo's on. Bellingham's on. Also, uh, Sarmiento's on. We got 20 minutes, boys. Wrap this game up. Also, by the way, with Zlatan going next season, Playing Paulo might be our starting striker. So I feel like we got to give him uh, more game time to get him more used to that position. Because Syria, if we get there he's gonna be very important for us oh d'angelo that's what i like to see that steal okay bellingham lead the attack bellingham bellingham what do we got what do we got oh we went around him but oh he steals it bellingham i like the effort but could have been so much better lavia good steal get that to haps up to point paulo point paulo keep it thank you get it to Iqbal. Iqbal finesse shot oh he scores fresh off a new deal the man scores bro the keeper's reaction made me think that was so wide but the keeper just stood there he couldn't do anything signs up permanently then scores his best goal of the season what a beautiful hit i really thought this was going wide the, the keeper his reaction he just he can't even do anything what a hit by Iqbal. all right 3-1 that should seal this game for venezia one step closer to the league title and also promotion okay their keeper's up for this they got five minutes and their keeper's up if we clear this we got a chance for a goal maybe okay win it thank you Oh, weak ball. No, Sarmento actually. Oh, Sarmento, we got a chance. Keeper's out. Oh, we're going to go all the way. Okay, now we're going to shoot. Sarmiento is going to score that. He's going to score that. Oh, the keeper is out. And Sarmiento scores his first goal for Venezia too. Hey, the youngsters are showing out in this game. D'Angelo, Iqbal, and now Sarmiento. I don't know why the keeper's coming out or coming in for a corner with five minutes left. But, okay, that had to be perfect. That was perfect. 4-1 to Venezia. Hey, I would say D'Angelo, very strong debut. Only one goal conceded. Got the win too. Great pass to Vega, by the way. But that's going to be it. 4-1. Very strong win to start the episode. And start our final title push as well. Okay, next game is 3-0 Vega, Chiquinho, and Buzio. Um, now we got Perugia. Let's throw Bellingham at Cam. Let's throw uh, Sarmiento at right wing. Let's get Mr. D'Angelo in there. And this one is going to be 2-2. Okay, I have to draw. Buzio scores and also Ibra scored. All right, next game is uh, against Perugia. Okay, the team is is gone. On international duty, on a title push, really? Okay, let's go. Iqbal in the midfield. Go Sarmiento on the left. Um, Who do we play at striker? Because Poy and Paulo and Zlatan are both gone. I guess we go with uh, Chiquinho up top. And then Bellingham will play right wing. We got to get uh d'angelo in there let's, let's throw silva let's throw silva and d'angelo out there the young center back partnership d'angelo up to 70 by the way we would go with that so a heavily rotated team can we still get the win against uh Brescia? i mean silva's another player the guy from benfica we loaned in at center back if he's good we could sign him for season two okay lavia that's kind of start i like he just ripped it from him immediately i like to see that all right haps up to chiquinho 
Chiquinho, start off strong. Not a bad shot. But apparently, if we win this, we clinch the title today. I did not know that. With our basically B team, we'll see if we can do it then. Okay, that's a great ball. All out of position. Someone was, and Buffon makes the save. Was that? I think it was Silva. Corner in. That'll be cleared by Bellingham, and it is. I mean, we're definitely not at our strongest today, but Zampano, that's a great uh, tackle right there. Chiquinho up to. That's a good ball to Bellingham. Now, Bellingham, I like him. We see play center mid, play Cam on the wing. We basically, play anywhere. That's going to be to Cuisance now. Cuisance. Cuisance, get a little space. That's a little bit of space. Left footed shot off the defender, though. D'Angelo, let's see if he can make a tackle here. Okay, Silva instead, actually. And that'll go right to Zampano. Defense, that's not too bad. Peak ball, get it over to Sarmiento. Great ball. Sarmiento, chance to score. He's going to go all the way. Okay. Chiquinho, why are you just running the way there? He, I've never seen a player get more in the way than that. Okay, that's going to go to Chiquinho himself. Volley attempt off a face. Lavia, volley attempt, it's gonna go wide. Yeah, a little bit sloppy from some of the youngsters. Cuisance to Chiquinho. Chiquinho gotta finish that. Oh, keeper. That went under the keeper. How lucky is that? Cuisance, power shot from Cuisance. Whoa, that thing had some pace to it, and keeper is gonna get up and grab it. That thing had some uh, fizz on it. All right, D'Angelo. D'Angelo, can you stop a goal here? D'Angelo. D'Angelo. Okay, not really. Zampano. Nope. Buffon stops it. And oh, that's gonna go back in. Oh, it's gonna be wide. Yeah, defense. Still still needs a lot of work. Still needs a lot of uh, developing. Yeah, we're getting tested here. Silva. Silva. Can you stay up strong? That was, that was decent. That's a good shot, though. Buffon. Hey, he had his afternoon nap today. The man is looking lively. Corner swung in. Iqbal gets the clearance out. Do not concede, boys. Okay, that's a bad pass. Lavia. Lavia gets it out. Okay, that was nice. Now, Zampano just has a lot of free space to run into right now. He's got no support, though, whatsoever. To Jude Bellingham. Into Chiquinho. That pass was so delayed. Oh, good ball to Cuisance. No, get it to Sarmiento. All oh, the chance is so ruined. It is so ruined. No, it's not. No, it's not. This shot is right at the keeper, though, really. All that work for the shot to be that bad. All right, no, no, so far. We might be lucky, but no, no. But they also might be lucky, too, because our finishing has not been up to par. But the good ball. Silva's tracking him. Buffon is saving us right now. It's a good save again. Corner swung in. I don't know what corner this is, but Bellingham, great clearance. I feel like you're going to score eventually. Oh, I didn't saw that so late. Oh, Silva. Oh, Buffon again making a save. This is prime Buffon right now. That's like his fifth or sixth save, I think. The man wants to clinch title today. He can't, he can't, he can't stand to play another game. He wants to clinch it today. Bro, this attack is still going on. This is a long, long attack, and Buffon makes another save. That is now save number, what, seven? I don't even know. It's made too many. Like, fourth corner in this one attack. Geek ball, clearance, but they're going to get right back on it. All right, Bellingham and Zampano. Oh, they just ruined that. Silva, Silva. Oh, Silva, what a block. Beautiful. This has been like 20 minutes in our box. Another corner. Bellingham. Can you get it out in a pass, maybe? I guess not. Okay, oh, we can't steal that. No, don't score off all this. All this defending to not score. Oh, they're going to... Okay, he just put it wide. I thought that was a goal for them. That was so much defending. All right, D'Angelo, you got a two-on-one. Oh, D'Angelo, that is some very good defending. We can't get it out, though. That's our issue. We win the ball, but we can't actually get it out. And then Silva, good defending. Okay, both young center backs doing well there. Now, Cuisance through to Chiquinho. Okay, he's got a lot of work to do here. Chiquinho, play back to Cuisance. Oh, beautiful ball from Chiquinho. That was, that was just perfect execution right there. Cuisance scores. I didn't even think he would get this ball through. I thought I messed it up, but oh, that's all Chiquinho right there. All right, we're going to get Janssen and then Fiorellino on. All right, Sarmiento, what do you got? Sarmiento, power shot. Oh, Sarmiento. Okay, I call them a hidden gem. And that is a hidden gem type of shot right there. Is that goal of the season from Jeremy Sarmiento, the new signing? Power shot from a... That's a well ways out. 25 yards out exactly. And oh, okay. Keeper is like so unsighted there. What a goal though for the new signing. Hey, Pirlo is loving that. Hey, our B team is getting the job done. I mean, our B team plus a few starters, but you know what I mean. Buissons, through to Janssen. Chiquinho, get on side, please. Thank you. Janssen, we got a lot of options here. Far post to Chiquinho. Oh, it's going to be right at the keeper, though. All right, Silva. Silva, that's all you. It's actually all Buffon. Maybe Buffon's best uh, performance of the season by far here because this the man's been insane. And that's going to be what? A uh, handball on them. Okay. Johnson gives it to Lavia. Beautiful Lavia. Oh, okay. That works. Puissance. Oh, we had two runners there. Just can't release the ball quick enough. All right, D'Angelo. Let's see the tackle. Oh, D'Angelo. That's perfect. A 16 years old. The man looks, the man looks pretty good. Again, good block by D'Angelo. And we get the ball out. Defense to offense. Chiquinho, make a good run. Chiquinho. Okay, there. That's decent. Chiquinho. We get it back to Puissance. Get it back to Puissance. Decent attempt, but we can't quite do it. In to Janssen. You haven't featured that much. That was a great shot, though. All right, who is shooting this? It is going to be... Sarmiento again. Oh, he almost had two power shots in one game. I'm doing the same thing. Janssen. Back to Sarmiento. The power shot king. Nope, it's going to be Cuisance over the net. 
but that is full time that should be title clinch hey i think it is that is official venezia siri b champions and promotion to syria hey buffon did so good this game to clinch it also some of the youngsters did so well clean sheet for silva and d'angelo what a beautiful way to clinch the league title so i think the trophy left in the final game i don't think it's in this game but it's official venezia promoted to syria and siri b champions hey siri though is going to be a whole different story i think all right let's get to the final game next game is going to be that's actually a two one loss okay who scored uh buzio scored okay taking our foot off the gas a little bit now that the title is clinched okay it's fine and the next one four one chiquinho chiquinho ibra and ibra okay two more first one 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 draw courtesy of chiquinho and then this one's gonna be three now buzio chiquinho and vega now we're off to the final game of the season it's zlatan's final game of his career so i think of course we got to play this because we got the trophy lift this is a must must play d'angelo is in for denier one more final game to celebrate hey i mean in the big picture this game doesn't matter but zlatan's final game our final game before being promoted we gotta win this game i don't want to end it with a loss or a draw we gotta win especially at home okay this is a decent attack uh uh, Checkaroni, that was a handball, but thankfully, uh, the refs are blind to handballs because they call them too much in this game. Corner in, that's gonna be cleared. Oh, Lavia should have cleared that. Oh, that's gonna be a goal, but it's a foul instead. It's handball, I think. Okay, we maybe got bailed out there. Okay, Chiquinho gives it to Zlatan. Zlatan, good ball to Cuisance. Could be a good start. Cuisance gotta finish that, and he does. Man, he has been so good this season at the camp spot. 1 0 to Venezia in the final game. Zlatan with his maybe his final assist. Lavia, good interception. Lavia has been so good towards the end of the season. Now, Chiquinho on his way, on his way. Cuisance is injured, actually. Oh, is Chiquinho onside? I don't think he's onside. Oh, he is, and it's a goal. I thought he was so offside there. 2 0. What a start to this game. Although, Cuisance, are you good? I mean, you're celebrating. I hope you're good. Chiquinho, we loaned him in from Wolves and made the deal permanently. I'm so happy about that because he has been so, so good. He's going to be so important for this team in the future. All right, D'Angelo with the clearance. You like to see that from your 16 year old youth academy product. All right, I believe Cuisance has run off that injury, so he's good. Okay, that's a screamer. Oh, Buffon, what a save. So, Buffon's actually not retiring. His contract is expiring, though. So, we could keep him for one more season. I'm not sure if we should or not. I kind of feel like we should probably buy a younger keeper, but we could keep Buffon for one more year. I don't know. Um, Vega. Oh, what a ball to Cuisance. Okay, this should be a Zlatan tap in. It should. It should. And it's going to be a goal for Zlatan in his final game of his career. It is poetic right there. That ball, though, from Vega to Cuisance, that was disgusting. This is 3-0. Hey, the boys are excited to be in Serie A next season. They're showing it. 3-0 in 41 minutes. Oh, that's a long shot. Buffon, another save. Why has Buffon all of a sudden been so good? Like, the last two games, the man has been insanely good. Video gives it to Cuisance. Cuisance, great first touch. Oh, what a ball. Always oh, offside, though. Bro, Cuisance did so well to actually get that to Zlatan, though. Nino's going to get that to Zlatan. Latans, Latan. I want to go for a power shot. We're going to go to Vega, though. Vega for four. Vega for four now to Venezia. What a final game of the season. Oh, is Latan again? Is Latan? Power shot for all. Oh, let's just keeper has no chance. Keeper just stood there. It's five nil. Best game of the season comes as the final game. Like, look at the keeper. He has no chance here. He just didn't even move. He's got no chance. He got Zlatan running at you with a power shot. He's got literally no chance. Doesn't even throw in a courtesy dive. Bro, the team is feeling like insanely good in this game. Like the boys are playing amazing. Cuisance. Cuisance, get it to Vega. Oh, we could have got that pass. Probably should have just shot. Okay, that's Zlatan. Into a Cuisance. Okay, camera can't even keep up with a keep up with how fast our play is right now. Alright, it's gonna be Buzio with the long shot. Buzio, what do you got? What do you got? Okay, that was in the bodies. Buzio. Gets it to Zlatan. Zlatan shot almost a hat trick for Zlatan. All right, D'Angelo, D'Angelo. Tackle. Oh, D'Angelo. Oh, double tackle. D'Angelo, what a defensive play that is. Can you have a third? Oh, we can't get the block in. Those first two tackles were so good, though. I'm not going to blame him for that final shot. All right, clean sheet is gone, but that was some that was some really good defensive plays from D'Angelo. It is 5-1, and that might be the final goal. Maybe. Zlatan is big on side. I think he's on time. We may have one final chance here. Okay, Vega just got taken out. Get up, Vega. Oh, the ref blows the whistle. I was in a, I was in a fire at his last hand. That is so annoying. But final game, 5-1. What a final game of the season. Pirlo and Zlatan have both led this team back to Serie A in only one season. And I would say in a pretty dominating fashion. Like, these teams in Serie B really stood no chance. I think Serie A is going to be a whole different story, though. Like, it's going to be a fight to stay in Serie A. It's going to be a, a void relegation type season, I think, in season two. There is the Serie B trophy that Zlatan is going to get to lift a hey, final professional game for him. He gets to lift a trophy. I would say that's perfect. Venezia not only promoted, but Serie B 
champions and our captain gets to lift the trophy in his final game a mix of youngsters a mix of players over here at venezia then a mix of uh older experienced players it is time for us to go to syria and i i am so so excited so final stats vega 23 and 12 chiquinho 18 and 5 and zlatan 14 and 8 uh, look at buzio 12 and 4 for the midfield that's great and also cuisant 6 and 11 decent from that camp spot but go vote in the poll on vega's future do we keep vega or do we sell him in season two this man pirlo has done a magical job here at venezia but i think season two is going to be also very very tough is latan leaves um let me know if we should keep buffon or not i'm not sure okay venezia season two begins now we have brought this team from Serie b all the way to Serie A promotion but uh i think good old pirlo has his hands full here because i do feel like with some changes to the team it's gonna be a season where we try to avoid relegation at all costs like that's the main goal of season two so very sadly is latan is about to retire he had a very solid last season for us though very solid of course leading us to promotion and also the Serie b title but this season so many things are going to change i think so we're gonna get right into it if you want to see more of the series then drop this video a like and i think we're like 20 subs away from 15,000. so hit that sub button down below if you have not okay first comment keep buffon so he has one last chance in the italian top division yeah his contract is up in two months and we can renew him and i think he was really good towards the end of last season or season one so i think we might renew his contract and second one keep d'angelo's face as look someone real and could be iconic yeah daniel d'angelo our first youth academy graduate the man's got the stash at 16 years old and if you didn't know what we do is we find a youth player and then we put a random player's face on that youth player just to make it feel like more realistic like he does look strikingly similar to daniel arzani the australian left winger so if you didn't know that's what we do with the youth players it's kind of funny when you guys actually point it out and you notice and last comment you should try to pick up maldini's son for next season yeah daniel maldini 20 years old 68 overall so he was on loan uh this last season i was gonna come back to ac milan i feel like we do have a lot of midfielders so i'm not sure how we'd work him into the team but it would be an interesting pickup but first thing buffon since he's not retiring at age 45 i think we're gonna we're gonna give him a new contract i feel like it's the right thing to do now we still might sign a younger keeper if we have the money which a lot of what we do in season two is going to depend on the budget which i have no clue we're gonna find that out in a minute i would like to sign a younger keeper and then slowly transition them into the starting spot and buffon to back up but i think to start buffon one year extension he is going to he's gonna say yes to that buffon is back for one more season i mean him and pirlo are best friends so it, but they, it makes sense but it is time to advance into officially season two but before that chedeshev has been sold to levante so that's 3.1 million i mean it's that's useful at the very least now michael medio we could maybe make his loan permanent although i don't think we have the money for it we loaned him in from anderlecht right back he's actually pretty good his value though 5.5 i think uh, we, i don't we, we don't have money for it so we can't do it we can always buy him later on but i think we're gonna let him go back to anderlecht okay officially going into season two as you can see Serie b first place syria the goal is to not get relegated that's the goal here which i feel like it's it's gonna be tough but what is the budget for season two? Oh, it's so sad to see is latin not here he's gone so buffon takes over the captaincy but budget for season two is gonna be okay 16 million it's a like reasonable increase but it's still not a lot to make this team better that is without selling anyone which we did a vote on whether we should sell alexis vega or not and it was close but most of you voted in favor of selling him but i think since it wasn't like unanimous we're gonna go on like a case-to-case -case basis based on who comes in for him if they do like if a really big team that makes sense comes in for vega we'll probably sell him but if not he might stay okay, i just realized uh shudashev is still here so the players haven't been sold yet so after those players have left our budget is now 19 that's a little bit better so keepers buffon jordanen we're gonna need another keeper probably like i said earlier hopefully someone to eventually take over buffon's spot uh left back i like haps and i like zabala too we're gonna give haps a new contract center back denier d'angelo dardai and uh Ketsaroni. i think those four i'm solid with i want to start d'angelo because he just got so much potential you know i want to start him so i think my starting two are gonna be uh denier and d'angelo maybe although denier wasn't that great and he's he's very 18 million that's a lot of money i wouldn't mind selling him to be honest to raise some funds because he honestly wasn't that good but we are gonna try and sell uh wiznins wiznewski oh man that's bad i'm um, right back zapano he's decent but i feel like we're gonna need another right back cdm we're good with lavia fiorlino and also taylor testman's back or tanner testman i said taylor got the man's name wrong but i think we're good there we got buzio bellingham ball anderson i feel like wasn't that great we might try and sell him although i'm not sure we have a lot of midfielders though and i want to give time to bellingham and Iqbal. so not sure we'll be looking to sign a new midfielder at cam cuisance we got aramu who i think was on loan last season i mean he's 28 years old i feel like he wouldn't feature that much so we're gonna try and sell him i think and then vega sarmiento uh bjarkson probably gonna try to sell him probably not gonna feature much uh is it johnson or johnson i think it's johnson i don't know but he was actually pretty good i want to keep him i think and then chiquinho the star of this team one of the stars and then we're gonna try to sell this guy honestly just not good enough so we're gonna need a striker probably honestly we can could use pretty much everything but a midfielder just for more squad depth and improving this team now call me crazy but i want to bring deli alley into this team somehow i'm just not sure how we'd make it work because as you can see he's very expensive that would be all of our budget i mean i'm just curious what if we had a swap deal with uh denier for deli alley i am just curious
curious. I mean, they're valued almost the same. So straight swap. What would Everton say to that? They are going to, they're going to say yes. Okay. So do we swap Denier for Deli Alley? Just straight up no cash. Oh, I'm so torn now because our defense is going to be weakened. But I feel like Denier, he really wasn't that good, to be honest. He was a free agent signing that just wasn't that good. Like, uh, Cecharoni and D'Angelo, I feel like would be decent. And then Dardai is third choice. And then we could bring in another center back as fourth choice. I feel like, does it make sense though? How would we fit Deli Alley into this team? Like, do we play maybe Vega up top and then play Deli Alley as like a left cam or Cuisance as a left cam? Um, I kind of want to do it though. I kind of want to do it, not going to lie. My gut is telling me to do it. I want Deli Alley. This is the only way to make it work inside the budget. So we're going to see what his contract looks like and then decide. I mean, hey, from Denier's perspective, he gets to go to Everton. That's a good move for him. They probably need a center back who's 80 rated. So it's just what does Deli Alley want on his contract? He wants crucial, which makes a lot of sense. Four years, which makes also a lot of sense. Now, what is his wage? His wage is going to be okay 34 that's not bad i expected like 50. if we could just lower these others just a little bit like what about 30k per week but a little bit bigger signing bonus i would accept that for deli alley i would do that we are gonna try to revive this man's career and he wants 36 okay bring it down to 34 deli come on pirlo can revitalize your career and save it still wants 36 eh? 35 meet me in the middle deli alley is going to say yes to the deal we have signed deli alley we got to figure out how to make it work but it's a signing i really wanted to do you guys wanted as well he spent a season out on loan at besiktas back to everton and now now to Serie A at venezia we're gonna try to save his career that is a humongous signing to start season two welcome deli alley okay, he's gonna get the let's give him number eight guys cuisance has 10 i feel like it makes a little bit of sense i don't know actually no he wore 20 at spurs so we're gonna give him 20. it's where he was at his height in his career we're gonna try to bring him back to that so number 20 and then and we're going to move Poy and Paulo to 19. So I think for now, we'd play something like this. Cuisance would be on the left wing, Vega up top, and then Delhi behind him. We're going to we're gonna try that to start. We'll see. It's a big move, though. It's a big risk. We are putting faith in D'Angelo, though, over Denier. Okay, so we sold two players. We sold Aramu and also Wisniewski. So we raised like 5.2 million selling both those players. Okay, so now we got 23 million. The budget is looking a bit better. So now with uh, Zlatan gone, I feel like we need another striker, of course. We have Poy and Paulo, who's decent, but we need like at least one more striker on the squad. And we alluded to this on my community. Tab. We have been in contact with a certain striker, an Italian striker, Mario Balotelli. And he's told us that he is willing to join the club if we can get the fee right and also his contract. Now, we got the budget, so the money is actually not that insane. I thought it'd be tougher. He's only 32 years old. Like, that's not insanely old. Like, what if we paid like 7.5? for Balotelli. I would pay that. That'd be an instant buy. Such a good storyline to try and revive his career. Although of recent, he hasn't played bad at the teams he's played for. He's still scoring goals. So the question is, can he do it for us? 7.5, they accept that. I think we are signing Mario Balotelli. Who wants a rotation role? That's interesting. I mean, right now, Vega is the starter. So I guess it makes sense. 28,000 per week. Just get rid of that bonus and we're good. Mario, are you joining Venezia? Mario Balotelli is joining Venezia to help us stay in Serie A. Now, this is a sick signing, I think. His overall is not as Zlatan Ibrahimovic, but still, still can provide a lot of quality for us. Also, experience uh, in Serie A, like... That's the most important part. Our new number nine, Mario Balotelli, signed up. I mean, hey, he's still got 83 finishing. His stats still look really good. 86 shot power. He's going to be good for us. I, I know that. So I think a solid, solid pickup. So Deli Alley, Balotelli brought in. I'm not sure what else. Like, I, I like the way the starting 11 looks. We're giving D'Angelo the starting spot. Maybe a new right back is what I'm thinking. But in terms of like midfielders and attackers, I feel like we're good. Otherwise, we sign someone. It'll take time away from Iqbal, Bellingham, uh, Sarmiento, Janssen. So you guys let me know. What else should we do? Now, I am kind of scared if we get an offer for Vega here. I'm I'm very scared. Because if it's an offer that makes sense, I don't think we could say no to it yet. And also, should we sell Anderson? I'm not sure. I mean, he's he's got a good overall. But I feel like he wasn't that amazing in game. Like, didn't really impress me that much. We could get like $5 million for him. Let me know in the comments if we should sell him or not. Okay, a Jack DeVries, another player sold for 2.4 million. So we're building up this budget. I'm just not sure what else to do with it because I, I like where the team is at right now with Deli Ali and Balotelli joining. All right, so preseason has come and passed. Now it's time to start the Serie A season. Our first game is against, uh, I think I believe, Hayas Verona. So it's not like the toughest game ever. So Pirlo, back, first time back in Serie A since Juventus. Also Deli Ali debut, Mario Balotelli debut probably. And you finish in the top half of this season. Oh man, let's say we want to be safe. Of course, we want to be safe in this league. We don't want to get dragged into a relegation battle exactly what Pirlo is saying. Will you stick with Zampano? I mean, we did sign Medio because I wasn't exactly that confident in him, but we are probably going to sign him right back. So let's say every player has to earn his place. Let's give like a non-answer there. Oh man, first game of Serie A at home. Deli Ali starts at Cam. Vega's still here. We haven't gotten off for Vega yet, so he's still here. This is going to be, this is going to be interesting. So Balotelli starts on the bench. He's going to get his debut though, for sure. Like absolutely for sure. But hey, we got like the Serie A graphics this year, so it's going to look much more official than Serie B. Now remember the first game of this series, I believe we lost 7 
seven two. I don't think that'll happen in this game, but honestly, I don't know what to expect. Syria is a whole another beast than Siri B. So first game, Zlatan is now retired. He's a part owner of the team now. We still got stars like Cuisance, Chuquinho, Vega. Deli Ali joins. We're gonna see what we can do. First game of the Serie A season. Putting faith in our 16, almost probably 17 year old uh, youth academy center back. Hopefully, hopefully it pays off. Okay, good chance already for Verona. D'Angelo, D'Angelo, D'Angelo. Good tackle. That is what we put faith in for. Zampano, not a great clearance. And Chiquinho will play it out for a corner at least. Or actually, no, a goal kick. Chiquinho, that's beautiful defending. Deli Ali gives it to Chiquinho. Decent pass. Chiquinho, what a ball to Alexis Vega. Some oh, he actually still puts it in. That is pure determination from Alexis Vega, and that is goal number one of the Serie A season scored by our star man, bro. Chiquinho, what a cross, though! That is how you start your newly promoted season. What a cross, and then Vega the shot's right at the keeper, but he fights for it and eventually goes in off a deflection. I think, bro, he fought for that goal. It is 1-0 to Venezia. Bro, I like the Serie A scoreboards and graphics look so good. I honestly don't know how good Hayas Verona are. I know they're probably decent, but they're definitely like mid-table or lower half of the table probably. Deli Alli gives it to Buzio. Buzio, Buzio. Good turning there. And Buzio feels very nimble on the ball. Deli Alli shot. That's gonna that's gonna that's a knee breaker, actually. Chacaroni gets it to Alley. To Buzio. Get it into Vega. Vega, Vega. Decent touch. Okay, slow this down. That's a little bit too slow down, though. Zampano into Deli Ali. I want to give him a shot. Okay, that's a shot attempt. Another block, though. He's looking lively, though. It feels good on the ball, at least. Okay, Chekadoni. A little bit of defending to do. Chekadoni. That is, that's good defending right there. Okay, Buzio from distance. Oh, man. That had, like, the, the height. Just not the, not the precision. Okay, we got a free kick. This is going to be in to Mr. D'Angelo. Good ball to Vega. Oh, I was trying to play it to Deli Alley. This has been a solid first half for us uh, back in Serie A. That's a good ball to Chiquinho. Chiquinho, get it over to Cuisance. Oh, it doesn't have quite, uh, didn't have quite the pace to get there. I am encouraged by this though, Deli. Okay, Deli, that wasn't a great ball. That was a tough one though. Chiquinho, what a ball to Cuisance into Vega, and that is going to be 2-0 to Venezia. Okay, this has gone so much better than I expected. 2-0 first half, two goals from Vega. What a first half. All right, Balotelli debut is coming up pretty soon. Deli Alley, decent first touch Vega. If you want to go on your bike, Deli Alley, what a good ball to Vega. Vega on his hat trick, squares it to Chiquinho, tries to. Okay, Chiquinho, you got to be closer there. You got to be there for the tap in. All right, Buzio should get that. He does beautiful midfield work. Oh, man, we kind of took him out there. It's gonna be a yellow, right, for Chikaroni? Oh, it's no card. That should be a yellow. That was kind of a rough tackle. Don't let them get back in this game because that is the one thing we cannot do with the uh, inexperienced team. Haps, great challenge. Wissant's making a good run here. Okay, Deli Ali, are you on side? I think now he's on side. In to Deli Ali on his debut has scored on his debut. Okay, that one is pretty simple, but our new our new cam, our new star man, maybe. It is a debut goal, and Cuisance did a lot of work there. That's a good cross, too. It's a simple finish that he should finish, and he does. Man, 3-0. What a first game for us. I was not expecting this. Now that's good ball. Deli Ali again. Okay, Deli. We got a ball to Chiquinho. Oh, he was a little bit slow there. Vega to Deli. Deli, good dribbling. Play through to Vega. Oh, what oh, was almost a great ball by Deli. The last time we used Deli Alley was like in a FIFA 21 uh, Spurs career mode. And I remember he was so good in that series. He honestly feels good in FIFA. Holy moly, what was that tackle? I don't even know what that was. But I can't lie, I like it. Vega to Chiquinho. Chiquinho is in a breakaway. He's got no support though. He's going to shoot himself and Chiquinho. It's the crossbar. What an attempt. Okay, I'm I'm not exactly sure how this guy's breaking free. But Buffon comes up big in the first game of Serie A. All right, Vega to left wing. Balotelli debut. He's got 10 minutes to show what he can do. Not a lot of time, but I mean, we know what Balotelli can do. It's just a little cameo. This game has just gone like perfect in a lot of different ways. Although, okay, Buzio, that's just great, great defending. Okay, Vega goes down. That could be rough. That's a rough tackle. That's a good back heel. Now, defense has to do something, Buffon. I'm very glad that we, we kept Buffon for one more year. He's, he's going to be good for us. I know it. He's got the experience to help keep us up this year. Don't get relegated. That's going to be uh, that's gonna be a goal. Oh, that's going to be a goal. I wanted to give, keep a clean sheet in uh, Cecchidoni and D'Angelo's first game, but 3-1, it is still going to be a solid game. Vega through to Mario Balotelli. Balotelli, what do you got? Okay, he's, been, he's getting closed down. He get away, though. He does get away. Balotelli. Balotelli. Shot in his debut. Okay, he looked good there. Those defenders, I don't know why they couldn't keep up with him. The man... Looks solid. Corner in. That is going to be D'Angelo almost just scored. Vega, can we get a cross into Balotelli? Balotelli actually could have gave a pass to him right there. All right, final attack of the game. 
cross in. That is gonna be that could be all. Oh, Balotelli scores on his debut. Ball falls to him perfectly, and he puts it in the back of the net. Oh, this is just the most perfect of first games of the season as you can get. Deli Alley scores. Balotelli scores. It's literally perfection. The ball just gets to him, and then it's an instinctive poacher's finish by Balotelli, just right into the back of the net. Perfect. Hey, that's like that's seven million well spent right there. And I mean, the first game you can't read too much into it, but four one. That is a solid, solid first game in Serie A. Statement by Pirlo and also statement by this team, Venezia. All right, so we got 17 million to spend. Let me know in the comments what else should we do with this team? Because honestly, I like the starting 11. I like Balotelli coming off the bench. Uh, right back spot feels a little bit troublesome to me. And then we probably need another fourth choice center back, someone to just be back up. But anything else, let me know in the comments down below. What a debut for Adeli Ali and also a debut for Balotelli. Okay, in season one, Pirlo led Venezia to promotion to Serie A with the help of star players like Alexis Vega and also veterans like Buffon and of course Zlatan Ibrahimovic. Well, now as Latan is retired, we're in danger of losing our best player, and we have to deal with what this season is going to be probably a, uh, a relegation battle type season. Saying that, we did start our first game winning 4-1, but I sense this season is going to be very, very tough in Serie A, especially with the changes, departures, signings that we might make in this episode. So far in season two, we've signed Mario Balotelli and also Deli Alley up. I would say that's two solid pickups. So this young Venezia squad consisting of Puissance, we got Chiquinho, we got Lavia from Southampton, uh, Jeremy Sarmiento from Brighton, Iqbal, Bellingham, our youth academy star Daniel D'Angelo who's 16 years old I mean we got a lot of work to do with this team and I feel like there might be some very big changes in this episode so drop a like hit that sub button down below so you don't miss a future episode and let's finally get back into this yes that is true but it's a Kermode is finally back if you guys have been following the main channel you know November was a very busy busy month for me so a lot went down wasn't able to really focus on this channel that much but we're back now I really missed like playing this series so we're definitely gonna continue it as long as you guys keep supporting the video so first comment try to get Zlatan's region as they would really be good to strengthen the team we're gonna keep our eyes on that in this episode don't so Vega because he might be one of the best players of all time at Venezia. Yeah, I'm very torn about this. So we did a poll and 56% compared to 46% say we should sell Alexis Vega. And I'm very torn. I, I don't know what to do here. Because I feel like Edwin overall, he's he's so good that if a big team comes in for him, we can't say no. I mean, you guys voted in favor of selling him because I do feel like it's more the more realistic thing to do. So all I'm saying is we'll see in this episode. And last comment, you have to make this a daily series. One month ago. Yeah, it, it hurts to see that. But we're back. We are back in the series and we don't have another player crew mode going yet. So we're going to focus on the Venezia series and to start I'm gonna try to make a video on this uh, Tyson Plus channel every other day if not daily so we're gonna we're gonna try and shoot for that and oh yeah but you might have noticed we got some new kits now for season two so we'll show the awakened third kit very soon but that is our new home kit and it is so so clean these kits for season two are absolute just absolutely beautiful but okay we got 17 million to spend and if we sell someone a certain player that's definitely gonna go up we're just gonna simulate and see okay so we got a transfer offer for Anderson I mean he's a player that I feel like he hasn't played that much we already have mid like Iqbal, like Bellingham, um, even Fiorellino. So I'm not sure if we actually need to keep Anderson. We also don't exactly need to sell him. So I think I'm going to try to get a big fee here. Like 5.75. They accept that I will happily let Anderson go. 5.1. I mean, that's... That's kind of a good deal. We could probably replace him for that much. 5.5. Let's see what they say to that. 5.5. Okay, 5.5. You can take him. That is well over his value. All right, so I got one more game before the window closes. We're facing Empoli. And then we have, what, five more days if Alexis Vega will survive. Because we haven't got any offers yet. He's transfer listed. But we have not got an offer yet for him. Okay, it's time to show these away kit and third kit. They are so nice. So that right there is our new away kit. It is white. It's got like the Venezia flair to it. It is such a clean kit. It's like white, but it's almost like off-white. Almost like a cream color, I feel like but away kit you've seen the home kit they got like the orange and uh green up top got the all crazy design it looks sick and the third kit we're going for this very nice like deep red with the black collar oh it just looks so clean with like the gold trimming i mean venezia are known to having the best kits in the world so we're, we're gonna try and keep that theme here even with our custom kits which these look beautiful i think for this game you know what we'll wear the home kit for this one i think this one right here is our best starting 11 so second game of syria let's uh, see what the boys can do look at the cameras on vega they know that potential teams are looming around for him we always it happens first game was a 4-1 win it was a very shocking win uh let's see if we can keep that up because i do feel like we're gonna be in a probably bottom of the table relegation scrap but who knows even the commentators are saying they weren't expecting that opening day performance yeah i wasn't either oh man oh man that's a good move we made such a good tackle but he actually like stayed the patience from that man is astounding oh no oh no that's a good ball catsononi gets it out though but it's checkeroni right i forgot to say his name man i haven't played this in a while these players i forgot about them oh man they're gonna score they're gonna score Okay, they have started this game all over us. Already 1-0 down to Empoli. I mean, they're just they are just swarming us. Like, we're playing on the same sliders we have in the Wolves career mode. So, yeah, I think this is going to be quite uh, quite a challenge. But, hey, that's what we want. We got to enjoy Alexis Vega while he's still here. Puissance through to Deli Alley. Deli Alley. Chance to turn and maybe shoot. Deli Alley. Beautiful move. 
Oh, wait, that was almost like a pass to Chiquinho. Oh, no. Oh, no. That's not a red. That's a yellow. It's got to be a yellow, if anything. It's uh, it's not even a card. Thank you. No, it is a yellow for Lavia. Hey, I mean, I see our CDM, I like the aggression there. Bro, I haven't used players this low rated in a while. Oh, man, they feel so slow. Free kick lofted in. That's a great free kick. That's honestly great. But Deli Alley gets it out, I believe. Hey, we already have two players in a yellow. That's probably it's probably not a good thing. Good ball. And D'Angelo, the 16-year-old, is there for that. Deli Alley. Good ball to Zampano, who I, I feel like we probably need a new right back. Oh, he's going to be offside. He's going to be just off. Oh, Buzio. You got to stay on side there. That was a great move. Okay, we're looking a little better, to be honest. I like the way we're looking better than when well, we started this game off. We got it. Zampano bombing forward. Zampano into Alexis Vega. Oh, man. That was almost a really good pass. Lavia going for a Lavia special shot. Lavia. Hey, what a good shot. Swing this in. Deep cross. Oh, what a header. Was that D'Angelo? That might have been D'Angelo. What a header off the post. Oh, man. Haps at left back. That He's a very good left back. We signs. Through to Dele Alley. Dele Alley. It's got to be a goal. It's got to be a goal. Got to be a goal. We can try to get it to Chiquinho. Oh, Chiquinho gets it. Oh, we almost messed that up, but Chiquinho scores. Chiquinho, one of our best players in the series. He he is so good. He's like our future star. Scores the first goal in this game. Gets it tied up, though. Really, even the shorts have like the little logo on it. It just looks so incredibly clean. Even with custom kits, we still got the best kits in the world. All right, 1 1, though. We're back in this game. Let's, let's try to not let them score again. Because these games against teams like Empoli. Like that are around our level. These are definitely gonna be the most important games of the season. Okay, Buffon. That was a very weird animation, but he saved it, so I'm not gonna ask many questions. But uh 41 year old. How old is he? I don't know how old he is, but the man, that was a weird animation. Campano to Chiquinho. Chiquinho. Oh man, that is not that is not who I wanted. And Cuisance just sends it over the net. Chiquinho gets it to Deli Alley. Flip it to Alexis Vega. Beautiful ball. Vega scores. I think that's five in four games now. I think that's what I said before the game started, pre including preseason. But Vega scores, and this is 2-1 to Venezia. Deli Alley with the assist, too. We're trying to revive his career. But Vega, this man is in the prime of his career. Okay, this is game. has been turned around 2-1 to Venezia. It's kind of a bad thing, because like if, if Vega keeps scoring, I mean, it's only just putting him more on the radar of big teams. We actually should probably like miss a few chances to make his value go down. Come on, boys. Keep this lead. Keep. Oh, what a good ball. Buffon. Hey, Buffon had a very... I remember he had a very good strong end to season one. Oh, man. That's not a good ball. He may be old, but the man is still of quality. All right, we got Iqbal coming on, who I think I'm going to try to find a face mod for. Because I feel like there's got to be one for Iqbal somewhere. And then also Sarmiento is on for Cuisance on the left wing. That is a good cross. Chiquinho is doing a lot of work here on the at the near post. This would be another corner, though. All right, Deli Alley's got an assist, but he's also got a yellow card. So he's off. And Mario Balotelli was brought on, who I fixed his number. He was number 94, but I gave him his, uh, his, his trademark number 45, so that is fixed. Okay, that was a bit awkward, but we do get, we do get it out. Oh, man. This lead feels very, very fragile. And we can't close them down. We're too slow. Checkaroni and D'Angelo. Miscommunication. And this is 2 2. All right, come on, boys. I'll take a draw, honestly, but we have a chance to win this game still. Balotelli scored on his debut. I know, I know what he's capable of. Okay, that is a great ball to Chiquinho, who's got space here. Now we got runners. Can Chiquinho find him? Oh, man. He totally stopped running right when I passed that. Why would you do such a thing? Oh, no. Don't tell me he's onside. Oh, thank you. I thought they were about to win the game. And that was a 91st minute one on one, I thought. Okay, we got a minute. As long as we don't lose this, we might get the final chance, Vega. Into weak ball. Okay, Balotelli, please make a good run. Balotelli, chance to fight for it. Can he fight for it? Oh, he does, but the keeper makes the save. Balotelli almost wins it for us. Vega with the chip. Oh, man, Balotelli. He might be the starter if Vega leaves. That was a very good chance. We got one more corner, though. Corner lifted in to win the game. That's decent. It's D'Angelo. Oh, keeper punches it out. He punches it out. We don't get another corner, though. That's it. Ref blows the whistle. It was a good corner, but the header was right at the keeper. Okay, first game in a while with this team. I'll take a 2-2 draw. That's not bad. We ran unbeaten away from home a draw. I will take that at the end of the day. Now we find out if we get an offer for Vega, pretty much we're going to accept it. It's just up to... Do we get an offer for Vega? Oh, I just jinxed it by saying that. I just jinxed it. Manchester City want to sign Alexis Vega. Oh, man. That's just an offer that uh, we can't say no to. Man City. Of course, it's Man City. I think Alexis Vega has played his last game for Venezia. Now, of course, with it being Man City, we're going to try to get a little bit more. Because it said we can get up to $43 million for him, potentially. So we're going to try. Um, Man, that's a lot of money. Now, we could do some work with that to help improve this team. Um, Let's try 43. Let's say what the assistant manager said. Actually, no, let's do 45. I have a save. So we're going to sell Man City, but let's just see if we can get the most for him. Let's try 45 million. 45 million for Alexis Vega. 39.4 plus a sell on clause. Now, a sell on clause is interesting. There's not many situations where a sell on clause will be helpful, but in a series like this, it actually might. Uh, let's do 43. Um, Let's keep the sell on clause there, maybe. 43.5 Man City 
are going to say yes. So 43 million plus a 5% sell on clause. Oh man, Vega's gone. He's going to Man City. We are going to need to scramble on deadline day and find a replacement. Cuisance, you're not leaving. This is about to be a very busy day for us. So Anderson sold to Sassuolo for 5.5. Uh, Vega is not gone yet. That inter that's interesting. Maybe he's thinking about it. Another player that I'm I'm not really keen on is, is Janssen. He's decent. I feel like he hasn't played much and he hasn't impressed that much. And that's a lot of money we could get for him. So I know we're kind of selling a lot of players here, maybe. But if, if we can get, let's maybe do like 13. If they pay 13 for him, I'll take that, which 9.2. We might keep him just in case. I feel like I don't want to sell too many players. So we'll try 12, 12 million. Um, okay. They accepted 12 million. That's like almost four over his value. So I guess that's more money, but Janssen might be gone too. Uh, Fiorellino is not gone though. He's a very good squad player. Is Vega going to accept that move to Man City? Oh no. Oh no, it's happened. Alexis Vega. He's accepted that move to Man City. We can understand it. Our star player is leaving us. I mean, he helped us get promoted. So we're always going to remember him. Maybe we'll have a reunion in the future at some point. Maybe down the line, he comes back. But for now, He's leaving to Man City. And now we got to scramble and use that money, 43.5 million of it, to see what we can do to make the squad better on deadline day. So that is 61 million. That might go up to like 68 after the uh, Janssen deal. So Balotelli goes up to be the starter. That is currently the lineup. Janssen will probably be sold. So we're going to need a winger for sure. Maybe like two wingers. Um, Maybe a better center back if we can find it. Because I feel like the defense might very struggle. And then I would like a right back too. So right back, center back, and maybe winger slash maybe striker. Okay, hear me out here. So of course, Pirlo, very good relationship with uh, some certain Italian legends here. We got Leonardo Bonucci here and also uh, Cialini. And Cialini is a free agent. 39 years old and he's still 81 overall. His pace isn't that bad. He's faster, much faster than Bonucci. And I mean, he's still got some very decent stats. Like if we pair him alongside D'Angelo, I think, because I'd probably play Cialini over Ceccaroni. Maybe Cialini could like help mold D'Angelo into a star center back for Italy. And I think since he's a free agent, Bonucci story Ventus, I kind of feel like this might be a bit of a no-brainer. As we know, Pirlo, great friends with all his uh, old teammates at Juventus. So, Chiellini, kind of like Buffon, a free agent. I mean, why not? I think definitely I would like to play Chiellini and then D'Angelo. Like old and young, combine them. A 16-year-old with a 39-year-old. Like teach this young man how to defend. He only wants what that much a week 23.5 that's it thousand a week we have signed uh Chiellini up an italian legend to the squad so we now got uh Chiellini and buffon on the same team this is now becoming an italian retirement uh club buffon is 45 years old sir are you okay so that means we got we got now three solid center backs and Chiellini, dardai Cezzaroni, Cezzaroni. i keep saying Cezzaroni. and then of course d'angelo okay so we talked earlier about maybe the zlatan region now i initially thought that johansson a free agent was the zlatan region but it's actually not him it's actually this guy kale lindberg playing at cadiz now we can loan him in and I don't know what his value is. We already have Balotelli and play Paulo, so I think we're going to hold off. We're going to scout him. Maybe we could pick him up in January. We're going to hold off on that and wait wait a little bit. Now, a player that I really like for this team is uh, is Cade Cowell from San Jose Earthquakes. One thing, he's he's got potential. He's got, he's of course, very fast. He's got very decent stats, and also he's very, very inexpensive. So I think this is a signing that I really want to make. You can maybe get him for a little bit cheaper. It'd be very nice, like 3.7. We have money now, but we're still Mr. Krabs, so I'm trying to save money. Uh, let's offer to straight up four. Four million for Cade Cowell, and they accept that. I mean, that's that's, that's a no-brainer. So, okay, Cal, welcome to Venezia. Uh, we're definitely going to turn him into a winger. Maybe, yeah, let's do a right winger. Let's do that. So, new back two center backs of Chiellini and D'Angelo. We got Cal on the bench. What else does this team need? We've gone from having like 10 million, 50 million to 60. It's such a big difference. Okay, I've identified the right back I want, and that is Nacho Vidal currently playing for Asasuna. He's a solid right back. You know, he's not amazing, but he's definitely an upgrade over Zampano, and he's also, once again, not crazy expensive. We're trying to be smart with this money. So, 8.7, they accept that. So, Nacho Vidal, welcome to Venezia. Okay, I feel like we got room for one more signing because Anderson is now leaving. No, Janssen is leaving. So he was a solid winger. I feel like we need one more winger to have three on the on the bench or like in the reserves. You know what I mean? So we signed Cade Cowell. I think the player I want is Daniel Verde. He's 27 years old. He played on the wing, played Cam too. He's a pretty solid looking player. He's not exactly old, but he brings like some experience into the team. So let's try 7.7. .7, see if we can get this done on the cheap. They want Dart die. That is not happening. So we're going to have a lot of money in January. We're going to have like upwards of 40 million. So 8 million, they accept that. This is done deal. So that means we're going to play half a season, see where the team is at mid season if we're in a relegation battle we have money to help try to improve the team but i think we've used the money we sold vega for i think we've used it smartly so verde is going to be the last signing of the summer window so this is squad we're going to need balotelli to step up and be our starting striker i mean i believe in him it's a tough task though replacing uh, alexis vega and then chiellini and vidal to help the defense and then verde kate cow to help the, the the depth of the team i would say a solid solid window also a window that could very much alter the future of this team like losing vega is so so tough but the window the window is shut we are for sure going to keep our 
eyes on that Zlatan region though. So two games in, we sit in fifth, which is beautiful. And next game is another game which you would expect us to do well in. The first game of the Vega post era, we got debuts for Verde, Chiellini, and Vidal. I mean, this right here is a big game. You lose your star player. Uh, how do you respond? So facing a team that I have no clue who they are, I feel like we probably should do decent against them. We will see how the boys boys react. Also, Chiellini in uh, Buffon, that's what? A combined age of almost, I don't even know how old. Okay, Balotelli chance immediately. Balotelli shoots. Okay, not a bad chance. Start the game. Duquinho, cross in, very good cross. I feel like D'Angelo is so close to scoring these. Lavia, from distance, it's off their player. Okay, Lavia, I don't know what that was, but I like it. I feel like after that, he's got a chance to... Not, not a bad shot from Lavia. All right, Deli Alley, you are the new Alexis Vega. You need to be. Balotelli, great move, and Balotelli scores. That is what we need to see from our basically new striker. If Deli Alley and Balotelli, that combo comes to life, two players trying to revive their career in a way, it will be something special. The space opens up in Balotelli. I mean, it's a very simple finish. That's a striker's finish. All right, Verde. So Chiquinho is brought over to the left wing. Verde is playing right wing. Balotelli, he's feeling confident. Decent shot, good save though. Deli off to Chiquinho, Chiquinho to Balotelli, goes back to Deli. Deli, get it over to Haps, into Chiquinho, into Balotelli. Oh man, that pass almost good. Buzio steals it. This has been a strong start for this Venezia squad. Deli, whoa, I didn't even mean to do that. He just did a weird turn. I didn't ask him to do that. I can't believe we got a center back on the left who's 39 years old, and then a center back on the right who's 16 years old. Like when D'Angelo was born, Chiellini was already what? I don't even know, hold up. We got a chance. Deli, Deli. Oh, Deli loses it. So what? When D'Angelo was born, Chiellini was already like 24 years old, 23 years old or something? Something around that. That's nuts. Balotelli to Chiquinho. Chiquinho waiting for Balotelli. Oh, man. Is he onside? I don't think he is. I don't think he is. Balotelli shoots. What a finish, but he's offside. Bro, Balotelli is looking really good in this team, though. Vidal to Verde. The new signing some binding. Verde. Oh, man. How do I get that to Deli Alley? That should be a one-on-one. -on -one. This has been an extremely strong first half, though. I'm liking what I'm seeing. I mean, is there a chance this season might not be a relegation scrap? I don't know. Okay, Balotelli, good touch. Back to Chiquinho. Chiquinho finesse shot. Okay, Chiquinho. That wasn't that great. Okay, our new right back. Vidal, what a steal. Balotelli, get it to Deli. Now, Balotelli, get on your bicycle. Out to Verde. Verde, cross to Balotelli. The new signing. Oh, Balotelli, you gotta do better with that. That was a good cross by Verde. Man, that is an insane pass to their right winger. But Vidal, solid tracking there. All right, Deli, good ball to Haps. Now Haps, get it right back to Deli. Deli is running this show right now. Into Chiquinho. Chiquinho. Oh, I tried to fight around him. Get it over Chiquinho. Chiquinho, another cross. Oh, okay, what is that cross, Chiquinho? He had his two shaky plays there. He may have played well here, but it's still only a one-goal lead. And uh, with our team, I feel like a one-goal lead is not that safe. Haps make a challenge. Still gets by. Shoots. Buffon is going to grab it, though. Buzio to Balotelli. Balotelli is going to get sandwiched. That was a bit unfortunate. Okay, this team is starting to show some life. Okay, Vidal. Then right back. What a block. That's a goal-saving block right there. Balotelli lays it off to new signing Verde. He's kind of in here. He's kind of in. Does he have the pace, though? He might. Verde. All the way. New signing scores. The sealer in the 83rd minute. The new number seven. He was given the number seven shirt. And that is a very solid, solid finish. Okay, in danger of losing our lead. But we've scored two now. And that is the sealer. All right, Poy and Paulo on. Also, uh, uh, Job Bellingham on. This has been a solid game, although I, I feel like this team is not very good at all, so I feel like we almost should be winning this. Okay, Poy and Paulo, chance to shoot from distance off a player's arm, I think. Nope, I guess not. I guess the the handball roll is uh, not a thing in Serie A. D'Angelo. Oh, D'Angelo. A crunching tackle that is clean. Cialini is, is proud after that one. He's like a proud father. But 2-0. So first three games, we haven't faced really anyone that strong. But first three games, two wins and a draw. A great start for Pirlo's, Pirlo's men. And also Balotelli. Great game in place of Vega for the first time. So three games, we sit in second place by an inter. Who we're going to face in the next episode. Where we're really going to get our first challenge of the of the season. And then we face Lazio, Roma, uh, Juventus, AC Milan. All in one month. Yeah, this, this might get very tough here but it has been a very decent start okay we just sold our best player Alexis Vega to Manchester City which was absolutely heartbreaking and with some of the money we bought Verde, Cade Cal, we got Chiellini as a free agent and also Nacho Vidal so we have bolstered the squad a little bit but our starting striker is now Mario Balotelli so far he's got two goals in four games which is not bad we're gonna need him to step up in Vega's absence though because this will probably be the toughest episode of this series yet we are facing Inter Milan and then Lazio, Juventus, AC Milan and Roma all in one month this could go just horribly 
horribly, horribly wrong. Or we could shock a few people. Speaking of shocking, I found something that uh, we may need to talk about. But you guys hit a thousand likes on the last episode of the return of the series. I appreciate that. If you want to see more of it, let's try to keep that up. So drop a like if you want to see more. And also, of course, hit that sub button so you don't miss a future episode. Okay, first comment. Joe Skelly is an American baller. can play both sides at fullback. Yeah, I mean, for a backup fullback, he might actually be the perfect signing. So I don't know his overall. I don't know his value. But we're going to scout him. And then January is going to be here pretty soon. Could be a January signing. We got the money too, I think. Ikir Bravo striker. He would be an amazing young backup. You know what? I'm mad. I would have signed him if I would have realized that he only costs that much. He's a player that I think would fit this team perfectly, whether he's playing striker or maybe even on the wing. So maybe in January, we already know one signing at least, if it works out. And last one, you should sign a player from your youth academy. Yeah, our only youth player right now we found is Dano D'Angelo. I want to find more. So we're going to send our scouts out. Okay, this guy, Gabriela Russo. I think we're going to unfortunately fire the man because we got some money now to buy a decent scout. So you know what? I see a five star, five star. Uh, Mr. Luigi, why not? Four million is a lot, but we got the money now. So we're going to send our five star, five star to Italy. And then let's send this guy. Let's send him to, uh, let's send him to Ghana. And this one, let's send to the United States. I feel like Venezia has a very strong United States connection. Isn't there like uh, their sporting director? Isn't he American? I think. Anyways, we are sending our scouts to Ghana, the US, and then Italy because I want to find some more uh, youth players. But first, before we talk about the elephant in the room, we are going to play probably our toughest game in this series yet. It is Inter Milan at the San Siro. So we ended last episode with a 2-0 win and then we simmed two games. Udinese was a 4-2 loss and the next game was a 2-2 draw. So we now sit in ninth and we face fifth placed Inter Milan. This, this might go very bad. Um, Cuisance is a very tough so let's go. Let's throw Verde out and put Chikino on the left. Let's do that. I mean, for us to get a point here, even a point would be a miracle. We will see what happens. Now, if we somehow won this, it would be the biggest win in Venezia's history, maybe. At least recent history. So it is Venezia against Inter Milan Pirlo back at the San Siro managing. And this could go many ways. We'll see how it goes. Okay, Barella immediately forces Buffon into a save. I just have a very bad feeling about this. That's going to be a header. That's going to be another corner. Nope. It's going to be a goal kick. Come on. Anything can happen here. All right. Nacho Vidal does very well there. Get it over. Good ball to Verde. Verde. Can we get it to Balotelli? No, we cannot. Now, of course, this is Balotelli's uh, former team before he joined Man City. So it's interesting. Okay. D'Angelo, 16 years old. What a tackle. Dilly Alley. Get it over to Chiquinho. That's a good ball. Now Balotelli. Get around that defender. Go around him. He's going to go for a header attempt. He almost just scored that. If he scored that, I would have went crazy. All right. 24 minutes. We are surviving so far. Perhaps get to Debuzio. Buzio into Deli Alley. Deli Alley has a chance to shoot. Oh, it's terrible though. Deli, 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 what was that? You know, Lavia is having a very good game. He's one of our lowest rated players, but he is solid. Deli trying to find Mario, but he can't find him. Okay, walking career running forward. He's gonna shoot, and Buffon also makes another good save. How is Buffon doing this at age 45? The man is the definition of longevity. Okay, Deli, great ball. Oh man, that was a bad touch. It's been a slow game, like not honestly, not that much has happened yet, which is kind of a good thing. I wanted to kind of stay that way, but this seems like a decent attack. Okay, D'Angelo is playing great. He might be the reason why nothing's happened yet. Okay, one minute at a time. Moise Keane to DeMarco. He's gonna look for the pass. Nope, he's gonna shoot. Buffon. Okay, that's three saves. Buffon and D'Angelo, the reason why this is going into halftime at at nil nil. I mean, I don't know if we're parking the bus, but it kind of seems like it. Okay, the ref didn't blow us for some reason. Okay, D'Angelo has now made like three tackles. He is so good. But that is halftime. This this has been a very slow game. Deli Balotelli. Imagine Balotelli scores against his uh, former team. Would he celebrate? I'm not sure. I honestly have no clue if he would. Oh, Haps, what a steal. Okay, get forward. We get a chance to get something. It's gonna be on the counter attack, though. If, if anything, uh, never mind. We are what they call a a disciplined team. That was almost a good pass to Mario. Eli Ali is almost finding him. Oh no, Davio is in. Okay, he's gonna shoot. He's gonna shoot. He's gonna go for a pass. No, he's gonna shoot. And Buffon can't save that one. My only option was to try and block the pass, if any. Okay, Inter make the breakthrough with Davio. I mean, I don't know if I'd call that a good goal, but it's not good defending. Yeah, we kind of just let Buffon out to dry. All right, one nil to Inter. They finally make the breakthrough. Is that gonna open up this game though? At least. Oh, that's not about. That's not a good pass by me. D'Angelo, save me. D'Angelo. Oh, he does not save me. Vidal does though. Deli to Verde. Good ball. Inter Balotelli. Balotelli's in against his former team, Mario. Why did it take so long to shoot? Oh, we like, we like wound up. I wanted him to just shoot right away that he could have scored that. That's like, feels like our very first clear, clear chance. That's a good corner though. D'Angelo. D'Angelo hits the, hits the crossbar. Oh, how unlucky is that? Okay, now we gotta make a tackle because this dude's just running. Okay, tactical foul, tactical foul. We need to stop the ball. And two chances where we could have tied this game up. Now there's another chance, Deli. Okay, Balotelli's offside. Deli, can we find Chiquinho? Yes, can Chiquinho. Cut inside a bit. Oh, man, that's not cutting inside. He took like one little tiny touch. Oh, no, they might seal it. DeMarco, they might seal it. They might seal it. They're going to track back, and they are going to seal it. They just found Correa. It's been such a slow game. They make two really good attacks, and they do score. Man, it feels like we had like a slight chance to get back in the game, but you don't take your chances against a good team, and we're not a good team. 
This is what happens. Deli into Buzio. Buzio, we need some help. Balotelli from distance. Why not? Okay, that's just a, that's just a desperation shot. Now we started the season off so strongly, but I, I said we could drop very quickly in this this run of games. Balotelli, good pressing. We could indeed drop down the table at a rapid rate. Buzio into Deli. A chance to get a goal, maybe Deli. Gets it over to Sarmiento, and he is going to get one back. We don't have time, though. We only have a minute. I don't think we have time. Deli in the space, and Sarmiento, once again, solid. Solid finish. One on the board, but it's it's not going to be enough. Ref, don't blow a whistle. Okay, he gave us no time. It's going to be 2-1. You know, we scored, although it was a little bit just nothing but a consolation goal. So, our toughest game of the season, we lose 2-1. We were kind of in it, but also kind of not. So, things only get tougher from here, though. Okay, we got we got two things to uh, talk about. Um, Mr. Mr. Lionel Messi, as you may have seen, is currently a free agent. I don't know how. I don't know why. We're only in season two, so I guess PSG just didn't renew his contract. We could sign Messi up right now to Venezia. Can can you imagine us signing an 89 rated Messi right now in season two? That would be absolutely nuts. I mean, 36 years old, but his stats still look, he still looks so good. But it's that is very far in the realm of unrealistic. So I don't think we can do that. But there is another player who's a free agent who might be a little bit more realistic, and that is his Argentinian teammate Angel Di Maria. So he's a free agent as well. I guess Juventus just let him go now. Already playing in Serie A Juventus, I feel like him coming to Venezia might be more realistic or might be more understandable. I mean, 35 years old, 81 overall, he would definitely he would definitely help us. I don't know how he'd fit in the team. I don't know where he'd play. If he would start, he'd, he'd pretty much have to start, right? Um, we're not going to sign him right now. I'll, I want to know what you guys think because it's a very big decision to sign a player like this. We already signed Chiellini. He's old. We got Buffon. Are we becoming a retirement home? Like, what is this? I'm not sure if I want to sign Di Maria. You guys, let me know what you think in the comments down below. Also, can someone sign Messi? I can't stand seeing him a free agent. Can someone just sign him? Go back to Barcelona something and also the uh zlatan region has been scouted so kyle lindberg 18 years old 74 overall he is six foot he's actually got a lot of sprint speed and he's got very decent finishing he wouldn't be a bad pickup he need, he'd only be 13 million maybe which we would be able to afford and with that sprint speed maybe he could be a winger too ball control dribbling i feel like we he could probably play on the wing so should we sign zlatan's region in january also d maria and lindberg let me know in the comments down below okay we're gonna sim lazio and then we are gonna sim sampdoria and then play juventus so literally it only gets tougher from here. Um, Lazio is going to be 3-1 loss. Not surprised. The person who scored our goal was Lavia. And then Sampdoria is going to be a 2-2 two draw. Balotelli and Sarmiento scored. I mean, that's that's not a bad draw to get, I don't think. So now we face Juventus and then we play Roma after this. So we're going to play these two games back to back. What are we guessing? Zero points, one point. I mean, just talk about a rough stretch of games. Uh, we start this stretch down in 13th. Now we were like in fourth at one point. The mighty have fallen, although we weren't very mighty to begin with. I know the ratings don't make sense, but Iqbal has actually played very well when he plays. So I'm going to play him over Buzio. I know it sounds a bit wild, but we're going to we're going to do that. So at home, we are facing uh, Juventus, Pirlo's last team he managed. I mean, last Italian team he's managed. Also, Chiellini's former team. Two legends played for this team, and now they face them. We will see how this goes. Uh, Vidal, I like to keep that in because if that went out, I would have been very mad. Balotelli, Deli Alli, Deli Alli, chance to shoot. Oh, that was almost that was almost a dream start. How many times are we going to hit the post in one in one episode already? Balotelli into Deli, Deli. Good ball. Cuisant. Oh, that could have been a beautiful start. He puts it wide. That could have been so good. Oh, man. We could have been 1-0 up on Juventus in like five minutes. I am in pain. All right. Confidence, boys. We got to play with confidence. Play with uh, more confidence than we actually have. Balotelli shot. Balotelli forces a save out of Chesney. This has been a positive start. Haps corner in. That is so deep. Way deeper than we wanted. Although, Deli, you can only flick that to Chesney. I am encouraged, though. And Deli Alley is actually so good in FIFA still. Like, he he feels really good. I remember using him in our Spurs, like, Fuel 21 crew mode, and he was also really good then. All right, Vlaovic. Oh, that's too easy. Oh, that's too easy. Buffon makes a good save. Also, another Juventus legend. I'm, like, forgetting that all these players played for Juventus in a way. There's a lot of history here, which makes this game very interesting. Oh, no, they're going to score. Gundogan. Okay, Buffon, another good save. Man, this Juventus team signed Andy Robertson, also Gundogan. Like, they have strengthened a lot. Probably why they don't have uh, Di Maria anymore. Okay, Chiquinho, that is some solid, solid defending, though. Not going to last long. Vlaovic, Vlaovic. Oh, D'Angelo. D'Angelo is growing in front of our eyes right now. Okay, Deli coming forward. Iqbal, Iqbal, I see you. Good run, Iqbal. Get it over to Cuisance. Cuisance. Cross it. It's going to go to... Okay, what is this? Okay, he just passed it back to the guy who made the cross. It's Iqbal. Shot by Iqbal. It's going to be saved. That is the most awkward attack you've ever seen. But it wasn't bad. Great corner. No one gets to it, though. Back to Chiquinho. Get it to Balotelli. Why are you here? Into Deli Alley. Alley. Okay, Alley. Get it to Balotelli. Balotelli. Cross it in. Okay, now get it in. There's a chance here. Cuisant. Turn. 
Oh, he's gonna get tackled. Hey, we are looking like pretty solid though. Deli out to Cuisance. Now Balotelli, get into the box, please. There you go. Oh man, that was a good cross. Just whoa. That was almost a rebound into the back of the net. Okay, what, a, what an exciting first half. No go to show for it, though, yet. Wow, first half, I can confidently say we were the better team. Is that going to stay that way, though? Balotelli up to Dele Alli. Dele Alli, can he get there first? He does. Deli, what a save by Chesney, though. We have been so close to this goal, we just can't get it. Balotelli, oh, we can't get that to Dele Alli. That should have got through. Oh, no. Get him. Oh, Nacho, good tackle. Then Haps, good tackle. Fullbacks. Both making some decent plays. All right, get this forward. Cuisance, oh, man, I need to get this ball forward quicker. I'm like, has which is causing the attacks to die down. Kulishevsky, Kulishevsky, eek ball. That is why he's playing. He's, he's solo overall, but he's actually good. Puissance to Delhi. Balotelli, we're going to try to play this pass, although I don't think it's going to work. It actually does. Oh, Chiquinho, I need you to be wide there. Some players are getting into like some very weird positions. Some good, some bad. Gundogan gets past D'Angelo, but Vidal maybe maybe saves the goal there. I am nervous. Kielini on Kulishevsky goes into Vlaovic, Vlaovic, Vlaovic. Okay, I thought he was going to pass that. If he did, they honestly might have scored, but they still might score anyways. Oh, no. Oh, no, boys. Stay strong. Stay strong. That is that is staying strong right there. All right, Haps into Iqbal. Into Balotelli. Deli, I see you. Deli Alley. Chance to score. And Deli Alley puts the shot wide. How many times? How close can we be to scoring? I can't believe it. Like, you can't make that much better chances than that, especially us against Juventus. Man, you play around with a team like this that is so much better than you. You were asking to get punished for it. Good ball into Gundogan. Gundogan. Oh, no. Oh, I see it happening. I just felt it happening. Once Gundogan got that to Chiesa, I gave up. There was no catching him. How many chances do we miss? And then you bent to score. I literally called it. I, I knew it was going to happen. I've played this game so much. I know. You don't take your chances and you you lose. Okay, we got we got about probably like five minutes. Deli, good ball to Cuisance. We got to find something here. Cuisance, get it back to Deli. Deli, back to Eek Ball. Swing this, Lavia, into Balotelli, good ball. Deli, Deli, Deli. Oh, man, I'm just looking for a pass. I don't see it. Two minutes, still the ball. Cuisance, Cuisance. Oh, man, I wanted him to face the other way and play it to Balotelli, but he was not facing that way. Lavia, tackle. Oh, we missed the tackle. Chiellini does not win it. Oh, man, after all that, after all that, they're going to score their second. How undeserved is that? That is the difference between them and us. We were we were so close to winning. We just could not take our chances. And they do. They take their two chances and win the game. 2-0 is such an unfair scoreline. We played so much better than that. But it's it's gonna be another loss. You don't take your chances. That's what happens. Oh, that is that is heartbreaking. That is such like a small team loss right there. I mean 1.3 actually 1.8. I'm not sure I agree with that. We forced Chesney into four saves. Uh Buffon only made two. Okay, let's go face Roma now. Okay, we got two changes this game. So Poy and Paulo comes in for Balotelli because Balotelli was tired. And then Cade Cowell makes his uh, Venezia debut on the right wing. I don't think he's played yet, so that's his first game. So we got two changes. We will see how it works against Roma. He almost just broke through there. I'm so mad we got nothing from the game. I would have took a draw at least, but we actually lost that game. It just hurts. We are not at that level yet. Although there are positive signs to take like Haps is making a run here that is beautiful. Haps into Poi Apollo. And that is 1-0 to Venezia. Bro, Haps from left back just made the run of his life. And Poyan Paulo in for Balotelli scores. I don't think Roma expected this. But he just runs through. Poyan Paulo gets by that defender. And then it's just an easy tapping for him. All right, come on. Now we're going to play mad. We got to win this. I don't want to draw it. I don't lose it. I want to win this game. With that start, we have a chance. Vidal, good tackle. It is Pirlo versus Jose Mini. I'm pretty sure they knocked us out of the Italian Cup last year. So we would like some sweet revenge right now. Puissance gets it to Haps, who is probably... One of my favorite players in this team er, turning into Chiquinho. Long shot. Oh, that looked pretty good. That looked insanely good. Okay, Chiquinho. Again, they're laying off you. Oh, that was so much worse. I'm so disappointed. Okay, that is a great ball to Spinazzola. D'Angelo. D'Angelo. I'm still on a tackle. D'Angelo. D'Angelo. That is so good. Chiellini is teaching the young man very well right now. Oh, man. Oh, man. Tammy. Oh, okay. Whoa. Buffon, what a save. I thought we messed up so bad. Buffon actually saves us, though. Saves the lead. That honestly should have been a goal. Buzio into Chiquinho. We got space here. Point Paulo. I feel like... Oh, man. Look how many... Look at the numbers they have. Okay, let's relax. We get a corner out of it. Bro, they got back with numbers there. All right, Haps. Corner in. That looks good. It looks good. Oh, D'Angelo scored. It is 2-0 to Venezia, our homegrown talent, youth star. Dano D'Angelo scores and gives us a two-goal lead. Hey, it's been coming. He's looked like really good in corners. He finally scores one. Hit the crossbar, I think, in the last game. But D'Angelo climbs and he scores. 2-0 lead on Roma. What is happening? Come on, boys. Oh, don't let him score. Oh, okay, that's just disgusting. 
We, I can't stop that. That pass to Tammy Abraham was so good. This is, this is 2-1. Okay, they got one. Was that Wolfred Zaha with the pass? Is that who they have? That pass was so good. We just can't stop that. All right, 2-1. We still have the lead. We got to play with confidence. Play with uh, bravery here. Oh, this is not bravery. Oh, it's not bravery. Dybala scores. We just can't stop the passes. Our two goal lead is erased in like a span of five minutes. And right before halftime, it just hurts. Okay, second half is gonna begin and it's gonna be like a fresh new game i am in pain okay we're still in this we gotta be positive we're still in this he's gotta find some of that uh fire we were playing with to start the game Kate cowell can't get it to point paulo he was kind of in there cowell good about to point paulo get it back to Kate cowell okay back to lavia into point paulo in two puissance Oh, Pellegrini, he just can't get the shot off. That could have easily been a goal, too. Oh, no, Spinazzola, he's too quick for, for Vidal. Drags it back. Buffon, what a save. I am getting a bit nervous here. 2-0, and I feel like they're going to take a 3-2 lead. I just feel it happening. Clear it. We got it out. Puissance into Cade Cowell. We got a chance here. Cade Cowell, the man is on his bicycle. The American is on his bicycle. Oh, he just drags it wide. Our finishing has been so bad. Why does it look like he tried to pass this into the... He tried to, like, pass it into the into the back of the net. I should have just went with power. To beat teams this this much better than us, you just have to be perfect, and we have not been perfect. We have been far from that. Point Apollo, lift it to... Oh, Chiquinho. Is that Chiquinho? It is, and he made a save. The keeper made a save. Once again, a decent chance. That's good, though. It's good, but it's going to be right at the keeper. We are so in this game, just like the Juventus one. Ozio. To Chiquinho into Poy and Paulo, who's actually had a very good game, and he just got destroyed though. Okay, we got 10 minutes. Lavia is rinsed, so I think I'm gonna bring on Ake Ball for Lavia. Um, let's do let's do Sarmiento for Kate Cowell. And I'm probably Balotelli in like five minutes if we can get him on. Oh no. Oh no, they're gonna get the win. Oh, they're gonna get the win. Bro, we are just not good enough. We are just simply not good enough we we are good enough to be in these games but we're not good enough to win them they just cut through us like butter like look at this passing one touch pass everyone separated another one touch pass and then tammy left footed finesse shot buffon it's in the corner we are just simply not good enough those first two episodes we were catfished by ourselves we got three minutes to maybe get a point sarmiento into point paulo point paulo does he have that pass to chiquinho he does. Giacchino. Oh, what a touch. That touch just saved their, their three points, I think. And we can't get it to our teammate, of course. Man, like, we're showing progress. Like, we can hang with these teams a little bit, but we're just not good enough to win yet. Loss against Inter. Loss against Juventus. And loss against Roma as well. Like, we take some positives. We played well. We were in the game. But on the score sheet, on the scout, on the calendar, it's just going to be three L's. That's what it's going to say. All right, so after those games, we currently sit in 14th place. I'm um, kind of worryingly, we're only two points off the relegation zone. 18. What did I say this season would be? A relegation scrap? Initially, it did not look like it, but now it definitely looks like it. And I am, I'm increasingly worried, although that was a tough schedule. I think against a lot of teams, we'll pick up some points, but that was just a very tough run of games. We got Milan next. We're going to face Napoli and Atlanta soon and Fiorentina. Okay, it's it's still rough. Oh man, we're going to have to try and figure things out and get some points because this is, this is going to be rough. I feel like I don't, I'm not really blaming anyone though. Like we're a newly promoted side. That's just how it is. That is our level. Okay, we currently sit in 14th place in Syria. And we are only two points off the relegation zone. We've had a very large reality check in, of course, the last episode. We lost to Inter Milan, and then we lost to Lazio, Juventus, and then Roma. And this episode doesn't get any easier. We start with AC Milan, and then we're also probably going to play Atalanta, and then maybe even uh, Napoli. Like, we're in danger of slipping here. And we did find some free agents that I think we may be foolish to not take advantage of. So, reinforcements are on the way. So, if you're enjoying the series, drop me a like down below. I'd appreciate that a lot. And also, with that sub button, we're chasing 20,000 subs on this channel. In January, try to sign Seong Jin Kang. I feel like I didn't say that right, but he's a South Korean wonder kid. Yeah, so we already scouted him. He does actually look pretty good. It pretty cheap too but 20 years old 6 nine overall he looks like he could be a pretty good player i mean the man does have a lot of pace and yeah i mean a player like that that could play anywhere in the attack cam on the wing striker i feel like would be useful you should 100 sign messi for another club signs him there were surprisingly a lot of comments saying we should sign leo messi now i would love to but i do feel like it would kind of ruin the series to a certain degree having an 88 rated player messi like it's definitely in the far reaches of unrealistic so i don't think we're gonna sign him we might have something planned with messi in the series in the future like 
in a future season. So stay tuned for that. And last one, revive Harry Maguire's career. Honestly, I'm not sure if that's even possible, but in this series with our team, Harry Maguire, he might actually be like a solid, solid signing. Now the price might be the problem here, but in the future, I probably wouldn't mind bringing Harry Maguire to Venezia. We will, we will see what happens. Now we're not signing Messi, but I feel like we have to take advantage of this free agent here. He would help us so much. And that is Angel Di Maria. I think he's a player that makes a lot more sense coming to Venezia. Like Juventus released him. He's 35 years old. Maybe he thinks like one more year in a top flight division, maybe two. And Pirlo's got a little bit of pull in terms of like bringing in players because he's a legend. So I think if we can make this contract work, I think uh, Di Maria would join us right now and he would help us immensely. Maybe help us stay in Syria and not get relegated. Now his wages, we can afford them, but I'm also trying not to break the wage structure of the team too. Okay, 29.5. He is willing to take a pay cut. Let's just get those bonuses off and see if he wants a little bit more. For 29.5, I would, that's, that's a done deal if he accepts it. Okay, and he does. He takes a large pay cut to come play for Pirlo at Venezia and Di Maria is signed up. That's the type of signing. That's like a Alexis Vega replacement and a signing that could maybe save our season. And he joins us right now because he's a free agent. So that is clutch. So Di Maria, welcome to Venezia. Hey, he looks good in that kit. I mean, it's hard not to look good in that kit. Okay, what numbers do we have free? Absolutely none. Okay, we'll give him number seven and we'll move uh, we'll move Verde to 14 for now. But once uh, Di Maria leaves in the future, Daniele Verde will get that number seven shirt. But I think Di Maria, he, uh, he deserves that number. Now he's 35 years old, so he's going to be dropping pretty rapidly, but still he's going to help us. I might be thinking, how are we going to fit him into the team? We also have solved that, at least I think. We are going to switch to the 3-5-2 formation. I think it'll help us defensively having another center back there in Vidal. He's going to play as a center back. And then have Suchikino, wing backs, and that way we get Deli at Cam, and we get Balotelli and Di Maria both playing up top as like two strikers, which I think Di Maria could really help Balotelli a lot. It could be a very good partnership, and that way we actually fit Di Maria into the team while keeping like Chiquinho in there, Deli Alley in there. This is the way. I just, I just hope it works. And I mean, back three, like Harry Maguire in a back three in the future sounds like it actually would work. Imagine D'Angelo, Chiellini, and then Maguire. Or D'Angelo, Maguire. Maybe the future of this team in terms of our defense. I don't know, but Di Maria is about to get his debut, and it's a very big game. It is Venezia versus AC Milan. Okay, players are insanely tired, though. So uh, let's play Checaroni in there. Um, Let's play Manlavi is tired. What do we do about our CDM? Uh, let's play Buzio as our CDM, and then let's throw Iqbal in there. So we're going to go with that. Now, we lost like four games straight, but we were like in some of those games. So there's a chance we could shock here and beat AC Milan. Although Rafael Leal, Furry inverts, uh, it's it's not very likely. Di Maria though, Venezia debut. I mean, I'm hoping he can help save our season. Those boots are horrendous though. Actually, they fit the green theme, so never mind. I take that back. So a very big game. We are in danger of dropping to the rele relegation zone. So I mean, I'd be happy if we stayed and did not do that. But this schedule list is getting very tough. We'll see if the back three helps our defense, the wing backs, and also the attack helps the Balotelli having maybe a bit more support. That's um, immediately. The get to lead with the shot, but it's going to be saved by our second keeper, the crossbar. Whoa, Balotelli, what was that pass? That was supposed to go to Buzio. All right, Di Maria, what do you got? Di Maria, first touch. You got no support whatsoever. Buzio into Chiquinho. Chiquinho. Oh, man, no one's going to get spot. People need to, like, get in better spots for the pass there. They're learning the formation. Telemachers, Checaroni, trying to mark him. He actually did good there. Balotelli into Di Maria. Di Maria. Oh, Deli, why didn't you follow up there? Okay, people are making some very, very weird runs right now. Rafael Leao into De Ketelet. Buffon, a great save. That probably should have been a goal right there. Feels like against these big teams, we have to play perfect. And we're like a team far away from playing perfect. Oh, man, shot. Buffon, great save. Rebound, got to get it out. And that's a, I mean, it's a very desperate clearance by D'Angelo. This is just a lot of defending. It is what we expect, though. Florian Verts, what a signing for Milan. Okay, Checaroni, good block. Hanging on by an absolute thread right now. Florian Verts, D'Angelo gets a tackling, but unfortunately falls to Salamakers. Verts, Tilly out, lay out, doing some moves. D'Angelo can't get it. Buzio, oh man, that's a goal-saving uh, tackle right there. They are putting us under so much pressure, though. Like, boys, we need to figure this out. Emre Chan, Verts, good block. It's going to fall right to him, though. And then D'Angelo gets it out we survive okay first half game is still nil nil all right the whole attack isn't quiet but that's because we've had to uh defend so much in this game oh man salamakers i'm trying to block that pass we do though Keelini. that's some solid positioning rafael leal coming forward Checaroni does very well very well there you just feel it though you see the goal coming i feel it although half still is that now we can finally break and give us some uh, relief Haps over the top to chiquinho 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 there's some strength there chiquinho can he go all the way chiquinho chiquinho i'm just gonna shoot it's a weird angle I just saw no pass there, but this is gonna work. I want to get like a shot on goal. I don't think I've ever defended as much as we have in this game. All right, free kick from a very far out. I could steal that. We're gonna steal it. No, we can't. That's actually awkward. That's so awkward. 
Buffon saves it with one hand. But I think, I believe he was offside. I will take a point in this game if we can get it. Chiellini, good interception. Deep ball, good ball to Haps. Haps, I need you to want to run. Balotelli brings it down. Good ball to Haps. Now Haps, we find Balotelli. Yes, we can. Balotelli, Di Maria in a better spot. Di Maria on his debut puts Venezzi up 1-0. What a goal for Angel Di Maria. It has taken us all game, but 83rd minute, we, we go up 1-0. We have defended for absolute lives. One attack. Balotelli gets it to Di Maria. What an assist. And then Di Maria, what a finish. Outside the boot shot. Oh, man. If we win this, it'll be one of the biggest wins of this entire series to date. Okay, D'Angelo is rinsed. So we are going to bring on Dardai. And then I'm going to do Vidal as a right mid. Oh, man. Chiellini is rinsed, but I can't take him off. Um, Lavia for Iqbal and then let's do Bellingham for uh for Deli Alley. Let's do that. Boys, we've got seven minutes to just keep defending. Park the bus like we've never parked before. Oh, I'm scared. Oh, I'm scared. I am terrified. I'm terrified. Leao. No, no, not like this. Not like this. We just can't keep a lead. It gets a lead of scores in the 89th minute. Oh, it's just heartbreaking. They just came forward with so many numbers and just overwhelmed us. All that work. I mean, a draw would still be a good result, but it just hurts. That pass right there by De Ketzelet was so nice. And then they find him. Oh, man. We got three minutes. We just can't concede a winner here, honestly. Whoa. Okay, who just who just made that pass? Who made that? I think that was Di Maria. Please, for the love of everything, FIFA, EA, don't do it to me. Thank you, ref. Okay. It's going to be 1-1. One, one. That should have been a win. How do we how do we give up that goal? It hurts so bad. We still overall played a very decent game against a team that is just miles above us. We should have won. We held it defensively for most part, but just one lapse and they scored Di Maria. Great debut. And it's going to be a draw against Milan at least. At least it's not a loss. Okay, Fiorentina, actually a very, very tough game, to be honest. This one is going to be 2-1, another loss. Balotelli scores, but we could be in the relegation zone right now. Okay, we're not. We're still in 14, but still. Okay, now we're three points off the relegation zone, so at least we're one point away. So now we face Atalanta. I mean, they're a strong team, not as strong as AC Milan. And we're going with our third kit. This kit is so clean. Even though we're at home, we're throwing a promo, you know, a red promo night. We have not won, and it feels like so long. It'd be so nice to win a game again. This is a game where we should have a little bit more attacking, more control of. I mean, Atalanta, though, still a Champions League side, so still going to be tough. Di Maria, Alatelli, Cuisance, starting at Cam for this game. Deli Alley's in the midfield, and Cuisance scores immediately. 1-0 to Venezia. That took us, like, five minutes. I think Balotelli got another assist. So, Cuisance playing Cam. Deli Alley's playing a box-to-box, -box, like, deeper role, and that is 1-0 to Venezia. Yeah, Balotelli is racking up the assists right now, and Cuisance, solid finish. Come on, we got we to gotta finally get a win. I'm feeling it in this game. I'm feeling confident. All right, Lavia, great ball to Vidal. We got space here. Di Maria, wait for Balotelli. Balotelli, Balotelli. Oh, man, he ran so weird there. Chiquinho, back to Di Maria. Di Maria shot. It's going to be saved near post. Yeah, you can tell Di Maria has injected some energy into this team. Good corner. Is that D'Angelo? It is. This man is so good from corners. Scored in the last episode. Scored again. Our homegrown talent. Daniel D'Angelo gives us a two-goal lead on Atalanta. Bro, he is a threat on corners. I feel like he always gets to it. D'Angelo climbs and scores. Who know? This has been one of our best starts in a while. We started like this against Roma, though, and then Roma came back. Like, we, we cannot let that happen again. Come on. Don't let him back in the game. Don't do it. Don't do it. Buffon makes a good save. Vidal prevents a corner. Oh, Lavia. Lavia. Great defending. Di Maria to Balotelli. Balotelli. Try to slide. Try to slide over. Di Maria should be on side still. Di Maria cuts inside. Di Maria has to shoot the finesse shot. Oh, it's just so bad. And I feel like finesse shots all of a sudden like stopped working for me. Chiquinho, Di Maria. Oh, man. Balotelli was so in there. Just our spacing was not good enough. We could put this team to bed. I feel it. Or we could let them back in the game. I'm going for a tactical foul. I went for a tactical foul. It was actually the greatest side tackle of all time from Daniel D'Angelo. He's literally the next Chiellini for Italy. Oh, man. Good ball. Buffon. Solid save. Ross in. Don't let them score, please. Deli Alley should get that. Deli in a more uh, box box roll is doing a job for us. Deli's going all the way. Aquino up to Deli Alley. Deli, fight for it. Fight for it like a madman. Does not fight for it. Whoa, that's. Man, how do we let him get that touch away? Totally should have stole that. Okay, D'Angelo. What a tackle. Send us to halftime. Two goal lead. I will take it. Come on, still a lot of game left, but I'm feeling confident. Balotelli gives it over to Haps. Haps. Could have played with Balotelli. Deli, Cuisance, slide it to Lavia. Lavia, do you got a shot in you maybe? Get it back to Deli. Deli, shot from distance, blocked. Di Maria can't get it. Oh man, good move. Don't let him score. Chiellini putting his body on the line. Di Maria through to Chiquinho. Do we have a cross to Balotelli? Goes all the way over to Habs. Habs. Oh, it's going to go wide. Oh, the cross from Chiquinho was like overhit, I think. Still such a good chance to just put this game to bed. Oh man, good ball, good ball. Oh, I didn't. I thought he was gonna shoot. Is that Marata? That is. I didn't realize he. Uh, I guess Atalanta bottom. 
It's 2-1. We we have let him back in this game. I thought this guy was going to shoot, but he laid it off beautifully. I really thought he was going to take a shot there, so I went over to block it, but okay, we need some subs. Let's do Poyam Paulo for Balotelli. Um, let's do Verde for Chiquinho, and I think we leave it at that for now. Come on. Let's let's restore this two-goal lead. We have to. Are we going to give up another lead? Rissons, Di Maria. Di Maria, wait for Poyam Paulo. Gets it to him. Poyam Paulo just... Oh, man, it's good defending, though. Okay, they are absolutely bombing forward. Oh, I went for a tactical foul. They're going to score. Buffon, please. Bro, they just, they just came at us so quick there. What are we supposed to do? This game, this game is tied up. We have given up yet another lead. We were so in control of this game, and that was just gone. This attack, though, like, we just can't get back fast enough. Everyone, they just caught us off so off guard. Okay, we got we got 20 minutes now, less than that. I can't believe it. Perhaps I see Di Maria. I see Di Maria, but once again, it's just solid, solid defending. All of a sudden, they have, they have turned up in this game. Bro, this is just cruel. This is absolutely cruel. We were so good all game, all of a sudden. They have come to life. I can't believe it we got eight minutes we can't lose this game now though corner in should be cleared it's not cleared Keelini gets it out though look him in look him in. just tackle him please tackle him gets by good ball oh my Buffon what a save prevent the corner rents the corner can we get it out oh no we can't shot Deli alley block we are fighting for our lives Vidal gets good steal might be the last chance Poyan Paulo into Di Maria back to Poyan Paulo to win the game Boy, Apollo scores. Oh, man. Never have I scored more of a deserved goal than that. That might actually win us the game. We have not won in, like, I don't know how many games, but I think we finally have another win. Boy, Apollo and Di Maria up top combined. And Boy, Apollo, that is a composed finish right there. Oh, my heart can't take this. Oh, I, this would be the most satisfying win. Two goal lead. 2-2-2. Two, two, two. Now 3-2. Ref, please blow the whistle. Thank you. Basically, last kick of the game. What a win. Venezzi at home, 3-2 against Atalanta. Oh, man. Biggest win of the season so far, for sure, a thousand percent. Okay, now five points off the relegation zone. Man, that was a big win. All right, next one is going to be 2-1. We follow that up with another win against the team in 17. Um, Chiquinho scores and also Buzio scores. Okay, our next game is actually against uh, Benevento. So they're in 16th, uh, two points, actually four points below us. So this is kind of like a really big game for, I guess, the relegation battle in a way. So I kind of feel like we should play this and we might save Napoli for the next episode. I don't think we've even looked at the top of the table, though. So top three are Venice, Lazio, Inter, and then Bologna, we play uh, soon, too. But we're going to play Benevento. Now, Balotelli's played great, but I think Poyan Paolo deserves a start for that for that winner. And honestly, I liked Deli in the midfield and Cuisance at Cam, so we're going to do that again. Buzio, sacrifice for this one. Uh, let's throw Cade Cow on the bench, maybe. And let's play Billingham at left at left mid. Let's try that. So what are these called? Maybe a relegation six-pointer? I guess actually like a lower mid-table six-pointer was what you would call it, but that last win was so big. We were on a back to back win streak can we make it three finally facing a team that is that is our level i guess or near our level sometimes these are the teams that are harder to beat though so i don't even know what to expect this fifa is fifa why is, i can't i didn't i couldn't decide who to control there it kept giving me like someone so far away from him i couldn't decide corner in all oh, Chiellini. He's so old, but that's such a good clearance. He's still got a lot to give to this team. Okay, Lavia is playing so well, too. Chiquinho, can we find Poyan Paulo? That's, that's not going to find Poyan Paulo. Oh, Di Maria steals it, though. In two. Poyan Paulo, a chance to score. One nil. Oh, Poyan Paulo, what a finish. Hey, he's coming to life. He scored in the last episode, even. He's scoring in this one. Big goals. He's coming to life. And Di Maria with another assist. I had a feeling he would compliment whoever played up top at striker and he is all right 13 minutes in one nil to venezia oh lavia what a tackle i'm telling you he's playing so well Cuisance, back to lavia di maria is on his bicycle there boy Paulo to chiquinho lifts it for di maria what a move di maria please di maria oh puts it in the back of the net what a move by venezia our new signing scores and we are actually playing so well right now all of a sudden what a ball by chiquinho what a little dink and then di maria one touch and then Keeper got close, but still scores, and this is 2-0. Man, Deli Alley is playing so good in the midfield. I'm, like, rethinking. Should he be starting as a box-to-box -box over uh, Buzio? I don't even know, but Bellingham into Chiquinho, into Di Maria. Di Maria for our third. Oh, we should have scored that. We have to put teams to bed. We can't. A two-goal lead in this team is not safe. Boy Paulo. Oh, Boy paulo has got two. Absolutely coming to life. 3-0 to Venezia. I mean, he had to be back up his Latin last season. Maybe Boy Paulo is making a case why he should be the starter over Balotelli. Because what a climb, what a finish. Flavia to Deli. Deli gives it to Boy Paulo. Gives it to Di Maria. Di Maria, we got Chiquinho. Di Maria instead. Di Maria instead. Oh my, what a goal by Di Maria. All of a sudden, this game, we have exploded. What a finish by Angel Di Maria. This is 4-0. We had options there like Chiquinho, but Di Maria, they're laying off him. Our best, our highest rated player, I think. Oh man, what a finish over the keeper. Di Maria, 
take an absolute bow. 34 minutes in, it's 4-0. I mean, there's no way we give up a 4-0 lead, right? There's no way. Defense, just don't let anything too bad happen. Buffon, thank you. Jeez. Who did I say that? They almost score. One are sent in. Lavia, good clearance. Right back into the box, though. And awkward shouldering off that player. Come on, boys. Come on, boys. Whoa, how does that get through? Bellingham with the clearance. But okay, that's first half. That might be our best first half of the season right there. It's got to be. Um, We have four goals, but our XG is only 1.6. Um, How does how does that make sense? I guess we're overperforming a little bit. All right, Joe Bellingham, we're getting forward there. Play Paulo into Joe Bellingham. Okay, his passing probably is one weak point, but if he's scoring goals, his passing does not matter. And Paulo Paulo, Dequisance, we got Di Maria down the middle. All oh, Di Maria is through. Di Maria to make it five. Di Maria to make it five. Di Maria to make it five. And I believe that is his hat trick, right? Am I wrong or no? Is that not a Di Maria hat trick? I forgot how many goals we've scored, how many goals he scored. Man, we are giving the Venezia fans a treat tonight. Cuisance down the middle. I really think maybe going forward, Deli Alley in the midfield with Lavia and then Cuisance at Cam. I mean, it's hard to ignore that we have played better since that little change. Buzio to the bench. Although Buzio was playing amazing. That's why I'm torn. Dino, Di Maria, Di Maria, good turn. Get it out to Haps, maybe. Or actually, Bellingham, because he is playing in place of Haps. Bellingham, decent touch. I want to see the shot. You know what? That was actually on target. I rate that a C plus. Boyan Paulo, Guisans, back to Boyan Paulo, and Boyan Paulo is in a score. He, the, he's playing so well. I think that might is that a hat trick for him too? That's a hat trick for Boyan Paulo. I'm pretty sure now. I'm so I'm I'm losing track. Six nil to Venezia. Maybe our biggest win total of the entire series so far. All right, subs on, man. Everyone, just what a performance. All right, that is full time. Six nil. Just just what a win. That is now three wins in a row. Yeah. So Di Maria and Boyan Paulo, I think both got hat tricks. I mean, that's the sign of a, a partnership that's working. So maybe we shouldn't change it for now. Man, that Atalanta win though is still the most like satisfying win in FIFA I've gotten in a very long time. Is that the game that starts our recovery so we are now up to 12th place a whopping what 10 points off the relegation zone now that's a lot better than three and i mean just keeping track we're eight points off a conference league spot so something to watch i guess Di maria though what a signing four goals and four assists in five games we might have found our new alexis vega the sad thing is though that he's 35 years old he's gonna drop really soon so it's very much a temporary signing but once again a signing that could help our season so next episode january transfer window we got 39 million to spend um let me know in the comments who you think we should go after who we should sell we do have a lot of good targets like that south korean uh winger and also even Harry mcguire so we'll see um drop a like if you enjoyed hit that sub button down below so you don't miss a future episode i will catch you guys in the next video as always hope you have a great day